All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. Those of you on Twitch, thank you very much for all of the uh, resubs and subs and all of the business. It is much appreciated. Thank you for the congrats on finally releasing part one of the um, of the CPR. I think, I think it is very much going to be helpful. Uh, this game is very loud. I have turned this up too much. That is my bad. Uh, but yeah, for anyone that is curious, the, the first part of the... the uh, the CPR is up, so we have a ton of the uh, early progression going up all the way to War Within. Obviously, the War Within video is not out yet, um, but I decided including Rising Tide uh, and War Within here, like, the notes are all, like, let's say, let's call it feature complete, I guess. <laughs> um, so I thought that it was going to be better just to have these here here rather than not even though the videos aren't quite out yet uh because i still need to edit these two uh but otherwise it seemed like it was going to be just fine just to have this as it is uh so i wanted to wanted to include this stuff to go past the second dream also deadlock protocol also doesn't have a video yet it will of course also get a video um but this one is also like it even has like the build that you should slap on the zorus for it in there so i think that's going to be quite good uh but yeah Anyway, the plan for today, the plan for today, uh, is that we are going to be, I mean, ideally, we're going to be doing all of the new war, and then also, I would like to, if at all possible, I would like to do Call's quest and go kill an Archon today, because I think it should be very doable. Uh, as I spent a little bit of time, uh, just real quickly, I want to show my screenshots folder. Spent a little bit of time doing some stuff, and some of these, some of these are gonna be like things I used for thumbnails or whatever. But um, some of these won't load. But yeah, so I did like the Vectus build. I got, I got some, I did, got some drops. So we went in here. I got a malignant force from Vor. You can see I was also getting quite a bit of focus here. I think I took screenshots of everything important that happened. Uh, yeah, I got a rare crate in the void um, while I was waiting around for Vor, just doing some Mott. Uh, also, Mott, really funny to join with Kalervo. Really hilarious, actually. Um, grabbed, like, maglevs. You can see I got spare parts and things like that. Just, like, a couple of, like, random runs I was doing. Uh, and then I... This is the, the rare crate again. I wanted to make sure. It was, it was well known that that's hilarious. I want to, yeah, we did very, very much make sure. Uh, yeah, and then I, so this is this is the big one. Uh, I was doing some crate runs initially um, because I needed the uh, multi shot mods in order to do the video that I did today. Um, so I got them both in one run. Uh, as as of course you simply do. You just go into the void and then you break some crates and you get barrel diffusion and split chamber. Um, because that's just how it works. That's that's just the that's just the method that we utilize. Um, here today, and then then we have the screenshot I used for the the Rhino guide area thing. So yeah, that's just how it works. <laughs> this account is so fucking lucky. Yeah, no, it is. It's really, it's really pretty outrageous, actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those things will will sometimes take longer. Uh, but sometimes sometimes you just fucking get it in one, I guess. Uh, and that's just how it's gonna go. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, we have our we have the Vectus, which is, should be more than good for pretty much anything we want to throw it at. Um, I did attempt to do a little bit of farming to try and get the dual stack cold mod to unfortunately no success. Uh, so I just used this instead, and like the math here worked out to be very simple because I could make it equal to this, so on and so forth. My original for anyone wondering, my original plan was to bump serration up a level. And then have the dual stat cold mod because this would be 60 and 60 and then this gets bumped up to 120 so they would still be equivalent but the numbers would be overall higher uh but i just did that that thing didn't drop so we're just on this which is more than fine uh and then yeah otherwise we're just like, rocking our our atomos still um i probably could put another level into sack steel if i wanted to and then that would not be a problem at all and uh i think there was there was something else that was important here i think i got one of the dual stats for this yeah i got viral and scourge right uh so yeah i have the this is the um i have the toxin mod from uh from vor here i did go and grab that i don't have the uh the cold mod you would want here so that you could actually max out sack steel 
Uh, but that's not going to matter too much, probably. Uh, I will pump a level into this, though, because I do have plenty of endo. This is like 1,200. We go up to another 20%. So I was at, like, what, 74% crit chance? Yeah, give me another, like, 6% crit chance, let's call it. Um, yeah, I mean, just, like, generically good stuff. Weapon, weapon good, who knew? Five days, Mr. Zyme, five days. Five days until the update, basically. I forgot alerts are off. Alerts are off. Uh, so each free-to-play has been more lucky than the last. Yeah, I don't know what it is, man. Uh, but yeah, so, starting us off, we need to uh, go through... We gotta we got go through the Chimera prologue and all of the other, basically, cutscenes. Uh, so for that, run back here and touch, touch this. I've been really lucky apart from Wise Razor. Wise Razor gives us no end of trouble, apparently. But, you know. I'll take farming two hours for Wise Razor to walk into the void and get Barrel Diffusion and Split Chamber at the same time. You know what I mean? Oh, right. We're gonna have to fight here. You know, actually, I can just do this, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can just do this. Okay, moving on. Shade does say, what if we didn't? You're really not wrong. Should get a good look at him. Very fun. So the I'm glad they use the operator fashion. Yeah, the ghosts are like obscenely weak, so not 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 much is needed. You don't even have to use heavy attacks or anything. Into the portal we go. No. No. My beauty. My grace. My, my humanity. Despite being killed, here's Ballas. Don't get looked at. But she gave me the gift of life. Why would I betray her? This, this is no gift. She stole my. 
my death. My perfect death. Such is her power over me. Over the devil. We saw what we wanted. Those devils and I. Awakening accomplished with the destruction of potential allies. Didn't they see? Love must die, as Margulis did when I sent her to the Jade Light. And the Lotus, just some cloud in the sky, just some shape they imagined. Only the sentient is real. So, tell me, devil, do you understand what must be done? The Parasesis, the Sentient Slayer. Hurry, take this, the idea of it. It is the only way your war can end. So that gives us the Parasesis blueprint, uh, and that's the Chimera Prologue. It is just a little like cutscene interactable type deal. Uh, so here's the deal. Parasesis, probably at one point, D thought was going to be a thing that they would require us to build. It's extremely expensive, uh, and as of this current video, the weapon sucks. So you don't need to build it. It's not a requirement for anything. Thank goodness. Uh, and you can totally ignore it. So we love to see that. If you need it in the story, it will be given to you. So yeah, that's uh, that's what's up with the Parasesis. So you don't need to worry about that at all. But that allows us to move on to our prelude to war. Which is a series of three cutscenes. Of the Chimera Prologue, then into Era, and then into this one. You don't need it anymore to break that crystal. Breaking the crystal is no longer a thing you need to do. All that stuff got removed. This is very far back in time. This is the old war, just to be clear. This is stuff that did happen. That is Hunhao.
These would all ostensibly contain operators. This, notably, is Varzia. She doesn't die here. Let her go. Yes, as far as we know, that is actually Varzia. <clears throat> also, here's six of the seven operators that we know canonically exist, which includes us. If I had a heart, it would be broken. If my eyes could weep, I'd be blind. Look at what they've made of you. You are God. You are queen. But somehow the bees That's us over there. Hostage. Front side. Do you even recognize me anymore? I recognize the enemy. No. Sister. See Varzi is alive. Era. The makers caught you. Unraveled your mind. They're using you to kill us. The queen of the aphids, with her eye in the void. But I don't blame you. I blame them. You believe these are your children, but I am the only family you've got left. Hunhau so is alive at this point. Our family, our people, or these parasites. Choose, Natar. I am not Nata. I am the Lotus. He got better. On YouTube chat, someone asking, is this game hard? Not if you know what you're doing. Here we are floating about again. Reformation is accelerating. Our convicts are nearly ready. Our rebirth is at hand. And the Golden Spear? How many battalions? Still having lapses? Listen to me. That's the past. The old war. Tell her, Mega. Yes. That is no spear. No. Nata, Era speaks. The master Era. He speaks true. My, the Oracle are gone. The bios are divided. In fighting over what remains. Only the Tenno. The Tenno. The enemy. Yes. Made by you to kill us. Yes. But you have something our people have never had before, Natal. You're stained by their wickedness. Use it. Use their sin against them. 
they're listening. Let them. They know we are building. It won't matter. No, it won't. So what are you waiting for? Sing for us, sister. Call them home. Okay. So, important note about this. Uh, this basically is the prelude to an event that happened that's almost certainly never going to run again, where the Chondrics invade the system and we, like, push them back. The Chondrics being, like, they're basically, like, big ships of sentience show up to the system and we defeat them. That event's probably never going to run again, but that's, like, what is being made to happen there. Codex. Uh, this also gives us the Shidu blueprint. Uh, Shidu's like an okay weapon. Moving on once again, we now have the Maker. So this is Pragasa. It's a big, like world eater sentient ship also the lotus's mother does not speak a grandma kind of let's say for sake of argument we're ready Nata. so quiet so dark it only needs a voice a spark but mother Mother's gone. This is all that remains. But you have her fire. And more. You can finish what she started. Finish the war. Bring peace. Bring purity. On Lua, the Lotus, uh, I attacked you. Don't worry about the Howl of the Kubro. You died. Hmm. You don't remember everything then. <sighs> yes, your aphids wounded me, and our forces were depleting fast. I knew I had failed. Failed you, my sister. Failed our family. I had no choice but to retreat. No. You were destroyed. The Tenno made sure of that. You're still recovering. With all that the Makers did to you, it will take time to heal. Is one of them, isn't he? By the way, you're never going to get answers to what actually happened with Era. We don't know. He's here now. Finish the war, Neta. I won't spoil, but there's some subtle hints here as to where this goes. that is the maker completed so now we are essentially prepared for the new war which it will let me click begin on even though it shouldn't okay let's make sure no bugs are occurred here or no bugs occur here so i've got the necromech built which is the other notable thing here uh, so we have the void rig and just to quickly go over what you're going to need in order to do this quest, because it does, you know, use the Void Rig in small part. You'll see that this is uh, the build that we have here. Uh, this is plenty. This is plenty. This is all you're going to need uh, for that before we get started with the new war. Uh, if you do have anything else, like this is shield capacity, feel free to throw that in there. You could even level it if you're really feeling frisky. Um... 
but you don't need to do really anything. If you have any mods, cool. Necromech Vitality is a good one to put in here, for example. But it really super does not matter. Um, so don't worry too much about it. I'm going to put like two levels into Necromech Redirection. Is really going to be over under here because like it's crazy cheap to do, so I might as well. We will come back to this Necromech build later, though. Uh, and then in terms of, like, weapon stuff, you can get away with basically nothing. These are all just guaranteed mods that you will have access to. Uh, so really, don't worry about these at all. And yeah, that's pretty much what's up with the needs for the Necromech. Now let's get into the new war. Oh, yeah, the Mausolon. It doesn't actually matter at all. But you are correct. I should slap Rudo Line Barrel on here. Actually, I did this out of order anyway, because I needed to split the video. Okay, we're going to have to re record that anyway. about to commit a crime. I mean, the Imperator wouldn't have been anything bad there. All right. With all of the Prelude to War done, we are ready for the new war. Not to, but The new war. So, before we get started with this, let's talk about the Necromech a little bit. Uh, you will have to build the Necromech in order to start this quest. We can go in here and go to our Arcwing or, you know, extra stuff loadout. Um, this is the build I'm going to be bringing in on the Void Rig. Uh, you don't even have to do this much. You could do Far less than this. I had Necromech Redirection sitting around. If you have Necromech Vitality sitting around, it's going to be good here. Toss whatever you can fit in. Um, the melee stuff, super doesn't matter at all, so don't worry about that. Just anything that's like, I get more defense or energy or yada yada, that's all going to be great. Um, and then in addition to that, uh, the Necromech comes with the Mausolon. The Mausolon is like basically the best arc gun in the entire game. Uh, so with that, uh, just... I've got an unranked tier. I've just slapped on Rubido lined barrel. Comes with the polarity for this. As long as you are at least MR6, um, which you have to be at least MR5 at this point to be here, although that is soon to change. Um, but yeah, you should should be able to slap in Rubido lined barrel. You don't need anything more than that. Uh, the Necromech section of the new war spoilers is really, really easy. Uh, so yeah, we don't need to be too concerned with that. Uh, and just in general, um, you really don't need any specific gear going into the new war just because of the way that it works. Uh, so with that, let's get started. This is a consideration for you to, you to read here. Uh, it is long. Uh, this is going to take four to six hours for most people to complete. Uh, we're going to try and cut that down as much as we can, uh, but I am going to let cutscenes play and stuff, so keep that in mind. the same, yet ever changed.
this is Cetus on Earth, for anyone who does not remember. And there's old Chicken Legs himself. like the sentient summoners. As to the point of your gear going into this not being super important, we're call now. But that'll quickly be sped up. Darden crash. Call help pilot. Call finish mission. All right, we do have our sprint and everything. Uh, we have grenades on our uh, alternate fire. Uh, and we can also, like, deploy a little cover. This usually isn't going to be very helpful. And we have a Gracata. But you do also have a melee, which is actually pretty strong. So keep that in mind. Oh, sorry. The grenades are on one, not alternate fire. Remember that indirectly. See, the melee actually, like, gives them, like, a good stun, too. So if you need to resort to the melee, not actually too bad. So you have the dodge roll slide. That is also true. What is mission now? Mission! The bloated Condrix swats us down like flies. We are grounded. Call stop. Tell call. In we go. Oh, no, right, we actually have, like, the full roll. This changes later. We actually get a full roll in the quest. these guys at once. Get on the turret. Get rid of all these guys. If you do not use the turret here, you will have a much tougher time. Just due to ammo constraints more than anything else. Alright, that thing's gone, so we can move on now. 
We'll want to grab some health orbs here. You have an enemy that is bringing up a rear here. That shouldn't be too big of a concern. You have to avoid the giant red lasers. And now we enter a stealth section. Not very difficult stealth. Need to get to the other Searches. side of this camp. Must not see call. And it is very much just that they may not see call. You can do kind of a kind of a lot here to not be seen, uh, but it is not not hyper restrictive here. Call sneak good. You sneak so good, <laughs> call. Bomb acquired. For the queens. Thank you for the 600 bits. Face reveal. Yeah, notable thing coming up here real quick. Yeah, we don't know how that rhino died or who that rhino is. There's a rhino there, and he seems to be dead. Uh, but luckily, we've got his gun, and it's a good one. For the queens, you are so close. Detonate near enough, and your brothers shall live to fight another day. So we've got you the alt fire here, which is just like a uh, a big explosive. But also, these enemies do not like the primary fire of the Corinth. They hate it. You do have to kill the enemies here. He's on he's very on fire. We have to hit X to finish him. I salute you, one seven five. For the queens.
for the... for my brothers. Paul will instead survive this. Also, as you saw there, it said progress saved. You will save at different inter intervals here, so if you do have to stop playing in the middle of this quest, it's okay. Uh, it'll just, like, checkpoint you. Meet Viso. So we're in space fighting the sentients. It's going great. My command overrides aren't working. I need to break fire control from the fleet. Can you fix that, Vico? It's Viso, most lucrative and sagacious visionary. Yes, I can try. There's a trace conduit nearby. I can buy it. Yes, do your thing. There's a nice bonus in it if you can. Breacher Moa clear that debris. Okay, so our abilities. We can hit one to summon a little Breacher Moa. These guys are super useful. You can send them to places, and then if you shoot them, they blow up. Which is very good for problem solving. We can just summon more. Glorious destruction. The grid. Someone has. Yes. I'll pull some meat crews to cover you. Just get me that override. Um. Be so. Right. I got a data pad, secure robot dispenser access, and uh, plinks. <sighs> right. The joke go, is that go. the plink sucks. Do not build the plane. Go there. In he goes. Oh, I lost my Opened up on our way out. That version is pretty good, though. You don't build that version. I said don't build the planks. Act that. Uh, also, just repressing one, which is the same thing you use to summon them, is the same thing you use to command them. A functioning shield room dispenser? Oh, thank profit. There's no shame in maximizing my shields and just running. Get the shield drone. Just pass on through here. We also do have a melee weapon. How many hostiles ahead? <clears throat> I can't do this. And we can now summon customer service, also known as a striker MOA. I get a striker MOA. Over there. Customer service is very helpful.
move on through here. Oh, my guy. You can also roll. Don't worry about the way the visa rolls. It's all all normal. Oh, the striker mo went down. That's what's occurred here. He's getting too greedy with how fast I was moving through. This is another dispenser. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're good now. Trying to go a little faster. Just clearing them out slowly is a, like, like super safe. Hello again, turrets. I've brought a friend this time. Go there. One moment. Striker Moa, you gotta... Buddy, you gotta help me out. There you go. There we go. Customer service is looking something up. Don't worry about them. They'll be fine. There we are. If I don't stand down fire control soon, we'll all be sucking vacuum. Tico, what's taking so long? My customer service is drunk. Sir, you want to disengage fire control from the fleet? I... I don't understand. Look outside. We're all about to be under new management. Now do your part, or I'll find them all... Replacement. Need a little shield drone. Give this little guy the shields and have him go hack that. And there we are. Moving on through. Uh, for this, you don't want to touch that. You want to get in here and have him touch that. He's... The little guy's working on it. Hold on, he's confused. Try again, little buddy. There you go. He's good. He's got it. Corpus proxies, not the most reliable bots. Not the most reliable. Off you go. Move quickly now. Dragomo is doing his best. All right. You see, this is why we need that command override back. The board just can't face reality. Your plan, Tiso. Plan? You mean uh, I have to? <sighs> okay. I guess hit him in the knees, trigger his uh, attack routine, 
That should leave his shields vulnerable. In theory. Clever. Get to it. Am, am I a traitor to the board? Yeah, um, just a jackal, but we're not a warframe. Yes, sir. Move! I'm gonna move all of his guys over here. Beams incredibly dangerous. Over there. Drain no shield, and that will force his self repair routine. Let Striker Moa basically take care of this here. And then he's gonna come down. We're gonna send our little blow up bot over there. That'll be one section of damage. We can get a new one here. Get him to run back over here. Still need another bot. All striker mode takes care of this. His aim could be a little better. He's working on it though. He's trying. Striker Moa, I believe in you personally. There he goes. Okay, so now we have our little guy. We want to put our shield drone on him. Put our shield drone on him and then send him over here. And boom. There we go. Uh, if your uh, striker dies, there's other dispensers on the other side. But from that corner, as long as you don't have your striker drone die, you're pretty good. And of course, there's also the shield dispenser in the middle of each side. Well done, Vico. And that will complete Viso's section. What a big hero. Traitor to the board. is a huge chat. Take your shot for profit. Now well, it's time for the Railjack. So, notable things in terms of what I've upgraded on my Railjack. I did not install the uh, defensive stuff that I built. I do have Tier 3 guns. The enemy's eye turns upon our And this is also a level 5 particle ram. Which is pretty good. If you have an upgraded Railjack, this is going to be, like, super trivial. But I decided to uh, show that you can do this even if you don't have, like, Tier 3 defenses or anything like that. It is an upgraded gun, which is hyper-trivial to get. 
Um, if you do a single mission in the void, like joining a friend, uh, the guns are like really easy to build, uh, and you'll get a ton of them just doing one single mission. Through the perimeter. Are you sure about this? It should be me. No, Tenno. Your warframe will be useless until I clear the Orphix fields. Then we will meet inside. What's the aura around your HUD? That's the particle ram. That's like I ram things and do damage. I can make the harder choice. How tediously human. A slapdash alliance making a feeble last stand. If you all crave death and a final flash of glory, I am more than happy to oblige. Also fire it off. Boarding party is packing explosives. Neutralize them. Okay, we need to kill the sentient boarding party. Um, I'm Kalervo with the Azathane, so this should be no problem at all. Uh, but generally speaking, this should be pretty much no issue, even if you're using the Mark 1 bow. Or, sorry, rather, not the Mark 1. If you're even if you're using the regular bow, you shouldn't really have any trouble here, as these boarding parties are quite weak in the quest. Slingshot. You will need to get closer to your mother's ship. Uh, did you just... Squadron incoming. The enemy is wise to our diversions. If Slingshot is being repaired. Just get rid of a bunch of these little guys. Do you think there's a shred of lotus left in the tar? All this time, it's been dying. Also, basically five, five, five intrinsics all the way across the board, except for uh, one seven in my tactical. If anyone's wondering where the um. The intrinsics are with Railjack for me. I just need to aim at the spot here. And send in the Teshin. And just because I can't not say it, wake the fuck up, samurai. <laughs> All right. So of our alternate characters, Session's definitely by far the best. Uh, he has a lot going on. Uh, so he's one, two, and three switches swords between uh, three different stances and modes. So you've got your fire. Um, you can turn that off if you want to. you got your fire. You have your cold. And you have your electricity, uh, which is going to be like needing to... You're going to need to match that to enemies uh, that need the specific color uh, in order to kill them. In general, though, if you're just fighting things that don't need it, then fire is excellent. I would suggest sticking to that. In addition, we have our little... The boomerang, which is going to set enemies up for uh, finishers whenever you hit them. You can see this guy's a cold guy, so I've switched to cold. Damage him, goes down very easily. These these have like the full like every single stance has like different like hold right click and move forward gives you like these forward thrusts and such like that. Um, they're all. Good stuff. Uh, and then we'll get to the other the other stuff Deshin can do momentarily. Please excuse orders. Right here we have our glaive. We can throw that and then hit alt fire in order to uh, go up to it. This is the kind of replacement 
uh, that Teshin has instead of a bullet jump. You also do get the double jump, and you can glide, though, so keep that in mind. Then we need to hit these. We can just use the, uh, the glaive in order to hit these very easily. But feel free to hit them also uh, with your swords if you want to. A test for soul frame? No. Swing away, All right, so we can destroy this after uh, Ordis fixes the shield for us. The devil sends their relic to do the deed. But then, with both relics, aren't we? Both Need cold for this guy. Uh, so the video for a new war for the CPR will be edited from its four to five hour video. Yeah. I'll edit it down as much as I can. I'm still going to have to include, like, you know, most things, really. Yeah, watch out for those things in the walls. They are annoying at best. Hit the wrong button. Get up to that. Wall mines. will be relevant later. Session? Are you losing it? Feeling unwell? Need to help kill all the little guys defending the big shield. In terms of these little floaty guys, I would just generally suggest that you wait for them to come to you. Like once they're once they're on the ground, they're just so much easier to take care of. Uh, running under them is also usually a good way to get them to land if they're just like trying to you know float and hit you. Running under them will usually get them to do that slam, which is not a particularly dangerous attack and also puts them in range for you to kill them. We've got a Typhalus. These are basically big melee guys. Uh, you need to match their element uh, and then just generally avoid them. Uh, you can dodge roll with Teshin, which I would highly suggest. Uh, and the cold version is really easy because you just slow them super a lot. Let's move to fire. They're going to get a little bit more dangerous. You can still pretty safe with this roll. They will spin. You can spin. And you can just roll away from that. Then electricity is pretty much the same deal as fire.
he's gonna clap his hands and you're gonna slap him. Then once he's down, you just wanna hit X to finish him. And with that defeated, we can move on. I will decide when it is safe. Uh, a lot of these enemies, you can just, like, roll on past. You don't need to fight every single sentient that you come across. Uh, if they're giving you trouble, though, they probably should go. You can chain the glaives together. moves way up here. Go on. Didn't want to cooperate, hit it anyway. Got this coming over here. There we go. Moves over to the other side. get this one all done now doing the hover into the glaive to get some speed in the air is usually advised it's like pretty good just for going fast that being said you're not going to need to get super good at this movement uh it is really fun on him, get the crazy damage really quick here. Swaps it over to heat, so we swap over to heat as well. Move on to electricity. He does a little tornado. We just roll away from that. Press X to finish him off. Now we can bust this thing. Perfect fields are disabled. The operator should be cleared to board. Let me nudge the snares first. That's it. Come to me, old man. I am eager to show you how this war. This is a big like warper that will activate Not momentarily. With brutality, but with hope. Not with lies, but truth. A truth for all who are strong enough to believe. Even you. And with this activated, now we can go away. And that ends our Teshin section. Well, nearly. You're going to want to see this. Watch the veil do its work. Call out, Dax. Cool water flows, the moon behind the cloud. So, we are still playing uh, as Teshin. You do have like a parry timing on Teshin, which is pretty funny. Not with bombs and blood, but with truth. 
They programmed you in your kind. Now it is our turn to program them. Summon your devil. It's time. Why? We're just gonna put air in the corner over here. See the veil work. But it's it's a scripted Turn sequence. His memories inside out. Making him see the things he's lost. Putting pain where it serves us. A lost love, perhaps. Her life cut short by the very tenno he had sworn to protect. Call out, old man. Give her justice. Give her peace. I... I can... See... I know why. Yeah. There goes Sasha. We're classically too late. Also, that, that whenever we were fighting Azteshin with Era, it was from the Lotus's perspective. That's who Ballas was talking to. Good thing we brought Mollus the Parasesis, so he could cut her hand off. You cannot kill the devil, Tenno. Among other things. But you can send it back to hell. And now I've got to log back in.
Could we do a little time skip? Yeah, congratulations, we lose. All as one. So to ex explain what this fucking red dust is a little bit, basically he's using technology powered by Kuva to gaslight mass people into being controlled by him. But their violence did not end. Also, all of this shit is just straight lies. He's just the gaslight machine. To all of you. Grimir languished in their torture plexes. Ostron clades starred for Tenno Tithe. Corpus pupils weeping Tenno praise under blade. Solaris souls blackened the skies of Tenno foundries. Our time. An era of peace and security. The devils have been cast out. And by the void, the Tenno shall never return. Well, So if you've, if you've done Duviri, um... A bit of a small spoiler if you've done Duviri. Smiled himself. Full detachment fails on. Comms are bad tonight. How many prisoners, you think? So, quick overview of what we've got going on here. Uh, this is our gun. This is the Sirico. That's ammo, and then whenever you reload it, um, you have a uh, active reload, which means you hit reload again at the little window it shows you, and then that'll give you like a very powerful shot. Missed it there. Whenever that happens, you'll have this like glowing power shot uh, that is much stronger. That's what the Sirico is up to. Also, new hacks. A lot of people have a very hard time with these mirror hacks, so do not be ashamed if that is you. Also, you can go around and save these Ostrons. Uh, there's ten of them. Uh, of note, we don't know that that does anything yet. Uh, but it is a thing that you can go and do. Also, we have on three, we can hit our little sonar, which shows us where enemies are. Grenier, we can one tap with our charged up shots. I'm going to try and remember where all the Ostrons are, but no promises. Not going to hold up the, uh, the mission for it. Because we do need to do or hack these. Oh, we don't actually like the armor hacks. So I think the armor hacks are like a really good addition to the game, actually. And uh, then also on one, it is worth noting uh, that we have a heal for ourselves. It is also a status purge. So if you're like on fire, it'll put you out.
I feel like I definitely remember some of the Ostrons being over here. Could be misremembering. That yeah, must be. Oh, yeah, they do show up on blue as blue dots on the map. I forgot about that. Is that true for this? Yeah, it is true for this. Okay. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Uh, worth noting for the heavier units, which we're going to start seeing, uh, they need headshots with charge shots in order to die in one. Of course, the regular grenade, of course, only need the body shots. have a backstab that we can do with our little dadger slightly off the head there but not a big deal puts this down it's okay he didn't see that Yeah, this guy. He's just knocked down. Clearly. Back up here, remember we have an Ostron. And I think I'm going to get all of them, actually. I'm pretty sure there is one in the last little part of this zone. I missed one. Did I miss one? I'm not going back. Not a big deal. I'll try buying him at the big gate. Oh well. Yeah, then here we just need to get to the door. If you don't find them all, there's no known consequences Stay for that, so I wouldn't worry about it. I have no idea what that means. We're just headed down here. That green stuff, that is my outfit. These are the veils that are controlling people. Now it's time for a little fighting. an achievement for finding all the prisoners? No. I don't think so. There could be a Steam achievement for it. Uh, you don't have to in this part, but it is worth noting that you can, of course, just like use your smoke screen and stuff in this, but it, it's usually not necessary. Smoke screen, if you just like need a second though, is really great. Uh, 
Uh, Dawn, there is actually a large focus guide already on the website. Uh, it's not on the CPR, uh, but it, it will be on there. Let me get that thing off your face. Also, in terms of obtaining and crafting focus lenses, I think that's already there. Yeah, there's a very, very detailed focus page, though. Alright, there's an Archon here. We should leave. We cannot kill it. believe this will break. I'm misremembering, actually. Can go this way. Oh, no, that did break. I just uh, did not wait long enough. Regardless, there's multiple ways out of here. Uh, do not skip the cinematic. And there's Naira. We'll come back to that later. Also, we still don't know what's up with the Archons, just to be clear. Helmet is supposed to still be on here. Lay their hands on. Whoever's picked up the mantle the Tenno dropped, drifting wild, popping masks and loosen bonds. Whoever you may be, we salute you, Drifter. So we're the Drifter, which is pretty clear. Hey, our helmet's back. Hey, give me that. Just be happy right. we're not bald. Right. Good to see you too. What do you think, Ordis? What do I think? I think <coughs> this is torture. What's left of her is just wasting away. We've tried everything. I have no care and feeding of Eidolons in my data arrays. We don't know what we're dealing with. The win. No, we don't. But you know someone that does. I know someone that... Wait, Operator, you can't be serious. I told you, don't call me that. Sorry, Op... Sorry. If you want Throughout to the get better the beards are, uh, Narmer, we'll need a corpus or platinum. Well, it'll be like that sometimes. Hey, 
clean shaven is so much work. Male drifter is having a tough time. All right, time to head out. Don't worry about the green hair. Don't know why that occurs. Welcome back to Fortuna. Fox Solaris collapsed under Nama. You're on your own here. Keep your head down and get topside as quick as you can. Wait. See, so Fortuna's having a bad time. They'll sense if you're not veiled. Give them a wide berth, or you'll be sucking black ooze before long. the deacons or they'll seal you in. Get into this vent. Yeah, Fortuna is currently experiencing Forever Monday. True. Deacons here. Hello, hello. Missing your brain buster then. Ignore her. We can't risk it. <laughs> can't risk what? Jank side the comms? Already blew it. But listen, if you're here to mark with Nama, I'm keen to lift with you. Head on up here. We just want to not be seen getting on the lift. Off we go. Tags. The 
then you'll be wanting to pay a visit to that bleeding brain buster factory. I know a shortcut. Might grab yourself a K-drive if you've got the legs for it. Hop the K-drive and head out. Don't worry, this won't last super long. Name's Little Duck. And you? You must be that stick in the spokes I've heard about. You weren't in with a Tenno back in the day, were ya? Something like that. Hold X to jump off the K drive. What? Oh, you, you don't know what effect it will have on you. There's got Oops. to be another way. There we go. Afraid not. Pops my plugs to think that some people take the veil by choice. Warm lies are more comfort than cold hard truths, eh? All right, so now we need an armor veil. Um, there's a reason this doesn't just make us a bad guy uh, immediately upon putting it on, and we'll go into that at the end of the quest. Or well, near the end of the quest. We found you within the direction. Fail. Evil. Void in your heart. The balance. You saw a lost child in need of a father. As you recover, he noticed me less and less. What good was I to him if you weren't sick? All right. So now we're coming into kind of a stealth section. But I'd still give those deacons a wide berth. Did you know they can detonate those veils if they smell a rat? Take your face We're going to take the left side first. Are you serious? It didn't occur to you that you might want to mention that before. We need to get to that elevator. It did. They can see you from pretty far. Okay, now that he's headed that way, we can go out right after him. And head on up. Now that we're up here, we can jump up on this. And crouch around. Out for this guy coming back. We should just be able to go though. Open this thing up. So now from here we need to go back, but that's easy enough. As from this side, once he's back in position, of course, he turns right around. Just drop down this hole. Walk out pretty safely here. Uh, and this side is, I would say, generally the easier of the two sides. 
Uh, we just have to worry about this guy who goes up and down these stairs. I'm gonna wait for him to come back down. Let me just run right in. And this is already open because that's what he opened on the other side. So now we're through. Get rid of this thing. I can't. Wow, so this is a tap. Uh, in, it's worth noting in accessibility settings, you can actually change those from taps to holds. Oi, focus! Jab that console quick. Regardless, we need to escape now that we've turned off the security. Roll on through here. Puts us outside. Then we can pretty much just get on the ship right away here. Don't need to fight all the enemies on the outside or anything like that. is marked. Here we go. I hope you change your mind. Now we're headed to go find a special friend. I don't know why my hair is green here still. Helen and Taylor got blasted when they replayed on primetime the other day. Nice. So welcome to Uranus. I am not wearing that helmet, but okay. This confirms that you are clearly insane. All right, apparently we are wearing the helmet. Using a Philopod orders. Stay close in case I come to my senses. <laughs> move on in here exalted the dissident remains there is fall damage for the drifter here so use the elevator he runs crimson with the blood of our faithful but i will prevail in Narmer's name all is one
moving on through. There's Stalker. Clean spirit thins are heard from the shadows. It will not matter. My faith is too strong. The light of Narma will bring it the truth. All as one. Working our way through here. Just mosey on through here. Don't bother trying to kill seal the stalker there. Only. Only I remain. The test of my faith in trembling light. But I am not afraid. His love is within me. All is one. All us. Uh, Drifter knows about Stalker and Hun Hao because of Ordis. And here we go. Yeah. Even the golden lord of lies cannot kill you, Tenno. <gasps> she lives, Hunhau. No. She only lingers and without her kind not for long their search for her remains has long since begun the shadow can dispatch you swiftly a mercy the archons will not what do they want the same as you to raise the dead only they have the power to do it, unlike you. You are just as incomplete as she is. No metal beasts, no void fury. They will snap you in half and plant a veil. Is that how Dead or just believed to be dead by face. most characters? He is neither of those things. Not if you help me. <laughs> help you? Of course. What are friends for? Let me explain what you are up against, friend. You see, the Archons were made by my son, Era. Hybrid abominations of the old war, raised from the blighted battlefields where Sentient and Warframe fell. Is that an owl? The owl is named Boreal. His trident This information will be important. This is going to be on the test. Deadly, chaotic arcs. One might avoid them with a keen eye, if you can anticipate their faint threads before. Even the very ground you walk upon will become Boreal's weapon. He may have a weakness at this moment, but it is not obvious. Worst of all is the paralyzing screech. Terrifying, yet... This moment is your only chance to close in, unseen, and strike. What do they call the wolf? Amar. He will gnash his fang blade, filling the air with deadly coils of flame. Survive the flame, and you might see frenzy. A 
ruthless fury of slashes. Only the greatest of force will subdue him in this. Should he howl, the pack will appear. Mirrors of himself, meant to confuse. Only the true eye can distinguish the Alpha among them. I've seen this snake before. You know Naira, the eldest. Her whip cracks with an Ion's wrath. Bone shattered shock waves unleashed by every unfurling of its tip. Her whip is more than pain. It is protection. And more. For if you stand in awe of its spiral, the great thunderclap that follows will knock you senseless. Though she may be diminished somewhat by this exertion. And her gaze. To meet her gaze is certain death. Only by turning away would you hope to survive. Is that the screenshot sound effect? Nope. Yeah. That's it. Off you go to die. You have nothing to fight these beasts with. I cannot guess how many lives a Geno has, but you seem eager to lose another. I've got work to do. You can lay here all you want, doing nothing, wallowing in ancient grudges. She chose the Tenno. But Ballas and your groveling son, they used her. They'll do it again and again, burning her up for whatever suits them and tossing the ashes when they're done. They cannot have her. Tenno, wait. I have wallowed here. It is true. Fading in this deep hole, waiting to die, but without release. Held here by a purpose I cannot abandon that she is free. So no, they cannot have her. But hear me, even if I help you, even if by some miracle you succeed, she will not be the same. Even for us, death leaves a mark. Do you understand? I understand. A weapon as old as those you hunt. Not a luck. And now for a very good weapon. how really did say damn you roasted me here's the best bow in the game so in terms of what we got for firing here this is a sweet spot weapon so if you release while you're in that sweet spot you're gonna get like an explosive basically tree sized projectile that will kill anything that you shoot it at pretty much otherwise you have these quick little shots that still fly straight which is great and also you can charge it up all the way you will get a worse version of the charge shot if you charge it up all the way will raise the dead to 
this warn you. But Myra is not the only one to call under. Oh, you did not die. Here we go. Yeah, also this weapon has unlimited ammo, which is a huge boon. Because you can just shoot that thing. So used to being able to shoot through walls with my like full build for this thing. You are quick to it, but facing the Archon will not be as easy. You must study and prepare. And head on up. We have the elevator. Fully charging for these is just fine. You will need to destroy them on your way up. Shit's broke. Move to the other one. Enemies do not like to be hit with this, as you can clearly see. Shield guys are of course not a problem either. Just a, the, the absolute problem solver that is the Nataru. I actually just now realized that we're going to have access to the Nataru for the purposes of Eidolon hunting. And I've never tried it for that. Hmm. Shenanigans. Up we go. Up the pipes we go. to work for it this would be one thing but you get this for free yeah you you're alive i can hardly believe it he actually agreed to help yeah bastard even gave me homework you cannot kill the devil tenno 
Welcome By the to the Zaramon. Temporal axioms, unit six. So this the is Yuliria and Trotty. Spoilers, we've met her. Presentism, the obsolete theory of linear time, posits that now is all that is real. In this frame, this literally will be on the test. The now moves constantly toward the future. When are we ever gonna use this stuff? and leaves the static past behind, discarded, consigned to unreality. The future remains to be discovered, but is less real than even the past. We see the shadows on the cave wall, but not the hands that cast them. The Void offers humanity the truer telling of eternalism that now is merely a facet of a great block my head hurts it is relative and we can change the frame the tyranny of the present absolute is overthrown tomorrow is now its equal students Eyes on your own screen. Question one. Which of the following is not one of the theories of time? Presentism. Futurism. Eternalism. Correct. Presentism and eternalism are the principal theories of time. Question two. What is the principal failing of presentism? It considers the present to be the only reality. It has never been endorsed by an Archimedean of unblemished standing. It lacks elegance. It is not true. Correct. As the name implies, presentism considers only the yeah, present. The is also correct here. Question three. Lintana's parents have been captured, but she has a choice. The button that will open her mother's cell door will flood her father's cell with deadly radiation and vice versa. She presses one of the buttons. Under eternalism, which of the following statements is universally true? Only one of her parents will survive. Only one of her parents will die. Her parents will survive. Her parents will die. Correct. Versions of reality now exist in which each parent dies. Lintana is assigned to one of them. But the other is no less real, and is theoretically accessible. Pardon the interruption. This is Zeremon Actual. All decks, all stations, stand by for reliquary field drills. Are all these kids Tenno? No. Please direct your attention to the windows. You may find this instructive. Well, the more honest answer is maybe, but probably not.
we're back at the camp. Portis. How long does she have? Not long. You must hunt Eris Archons at once and take from them their power over restoration. Given such a task before you, I suspect you'll be gone before she. Forgive me, but this would be a lot easier if you could use that old, uh, Tenno magic. How did you lose it? I didn't. More like, I don't have it yet. All right. Hey, Rachel. Also, the Wild Hunt Witcher reference. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, this part of the quest is called I the Wild Hunt the explicitly because Grab likes the Witcher so much. Most Although, more likely than that, all of D really likes the Witcher, probably. Realistically. Okay, so we have a choice here. Uh, we can choose between going to Mars and going after Amar. Uh, we can also choose to go to Earth and go after Boreal. Or we can go to Jupiter and go after Nyra. So, ooh, the difficulty, there's no, there's not gonna really going to be a difficulty change between any of these, no matter what order you fight them in. Um, so just feel free to go after whichever one you'd like or whichever one is, like, least horrific for you, I suppose. Um, for us, I think we're gonna go ahead and probably go after Boreal, uh, and then Amar. As I would say, people generally consider those two to be the more difficult ones, uh, with Naira being pretty easy. Uh, so we'll go after Boreal first. Back in the helmet again, apparently. I made sure I had that off, but you know. All right. That interference again. There's got to be an archon nearby. For once, I hope you're right. In we go. A curious weapon, Drifter. You seem to have made a powerful friend. They have me, Era. Until you come to your senses. Valus is not one of us. He is a parasite, adapting to whatever suits him. He is using you and our kind. Surely you see that. On house radio. Here's Boreal. So Boreal has statuses and stuff, so if you get status on you, you're going to want to use your one in order to purge it. Otherwise, just try and hit those sweet spots and um, pump and pull arrows. Get that electricity on us. We're just going to heal up and purge that. guys which is not a huge deal trying to hit some, like collaterals on them is of course very much advised 
Uh, and then whenever he does this, you want to go invisible and then get inside his bubble and shoot him. Ow. Heal up here a little bit. Grab some of these orbs that are around. Invisibility, hit him again. Invisibility makes it so you're just not pushed out of his orb, makes it very easy to uh, hit him. He's gonna resummon his guys. Where are they at? here. There we go. Moving on. Oh, we got to tap you a bunch. His mechanics are pretty simple once you actually know what they are. Uh, Hunhout does give you specific hints as to his scream being able to be countered by your invisibility smoke. little hairy with the health there, but that's fine. I'm really fully healed here. Back and healed a little bit, of course. As usual, it's just being at least partially in cover. Mash E a bunch here. Just about finished off. There you go.
Luckily, we have Stalker healed. Stalker here to steal his lunch money. Stalker Vegeta story arc. That's correct. Well now, children. Well now. One of you out there is slaying dragons and doing it in style. Keep those hits coming. <laughs> Drifter. Okay. So now, before we continue on, uh, I'm going to eat food real quick, so I will be right back with food. But the recording will skip, you know, editing is going to happen. Editing Zyme, I'm make sure, the, make sure you edit this shit out, for real. All right, chat, one sec, be right back.
I've acquired a bunch of seasoned fries and ketchup. Chicken is out here still cooking. Are the drops of the sculpture in the reactor? Uh, there's three. It's a sculpture, a reactor, and a catalyst, I believe. Also here, I will, um... Thanks for the playthrough returning after four years. MR21 player here. Put up on Duviri, Calervo, Deimos, uh, Rail Jack up to Orphix, hoping for the pod drop. Nice. Glad I was able to help. Hopefully the CPR will be useful to many people whenever it's finally done. Obviously, obviously, we're gonna have like a small break here. Uh, bros, are you watching yourself through the rewards on that account? Well, I have the chat open and stuff, so kind of, I guess. Oh wait, on that account? On this account? No. It'll be for my main though. Quick thing is your streamer links on Twitter broken. Honestly, it might be. I haven't looked at that thing in an age. Was on Twitter that enemy magnetic procs will be nerfed. Yeah. Yeah, the, the timer being shorter is going to be really nice for that. And yeah, invested being looked at with 1999 next year just makes a lot of a lot of sense. I get the feeling the infested are going to get a lot more importance given to them. Than they have currently. Because the invest the invested as they stand, like now, are mostly just kind of there. Where it's like these are monsters that can like kind of weirdly talk to you and it's like eh. there's not a lot of like plot with them never out there were drops I was just watching on YouTube since it functions better fair Based on 1999, I'm hoping to learn their actual origins. Yeah. But you gotta remember, their origins can be different. What's 1999? Major update next year. We had a trailer for it last Tanocon.
S99 is probably the next Christmas update, by the way. Rip said it would be at the next Genocon. And if that's the case, I think I'm okay with that. Because, like, I think Whispers in the Wall is going to give us some direction as to how we're going to get there, but... There's a lot of work to do story-wise before we're ready for that, I think. Whispers will apparently continue where we left off at Tenocon. She still gets to play as Arthur in Whispers. Now that doesn't make sense. I don't I don't think that's what she meant. The Whispers trailer has the 1999 stuff, though. Well, like, they did a really cool transition to the 1999 stuff. Right? Like, you gotta, you gotta think, like, if we get off on a rip of, like, what we, what we saw of Whispers goes directly into Suddenly You're Arthur, it's like, well, that's 1999 right now. Right? Oh, you mean why is it also in the launch trailer? Probably because it's type of shit. That's just good marketing. And I think it's possible. <clears throat> I think it would be very weird. If we just played that little snippet they showed only or something. Because where does that leave us narratively? Right? Like 1999 looked like it needed to be like kind of its like a its own big thing to explain itself, right? Let's see, 1999 is another dubiety. Interesting. Yeah, 1999 having, like, spots of, like, 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 being in spots in Whispers is, like, kind of like a teaser thing. Makes sense. But I feel like Whole Hog, like, going in and playing as Arthur now would be like, well, this is kind of 1999, right? Now, 
that's true, Zadar. They, they did they did talk about like like that was the you are late thing. I could see that. <clears throat> it's only a couple days away, so we'll see. Ask me, I can't say. Oh, well, of course. Pretty much the only thing we really know about 1999 is that there's going to be like infested liches and stuff upcoming. Like we know the infested are going to play a big role. And that's really most of it, honestly. Food break, yeah. This first day one on free to play? No way. I'm playing on my main account. What do you think this is? You think I'm crazy? The free-to-play will be taking a hiatus for the launch of Whispers. I'm going to be playing a shitload of Whispers in the Walsh. Naturally. Carl save dropping on 13th. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, the Tenokai stuff seems really interesting. They're doing the new war. Yeah. Doing a food break currently. I was so hungry. Yeah, it sounds like this content drop is going to be pretty big. PJ, do not ask Rachel about unreleased content. Come on.
Yeah, I kind of get Pablo to answer still stop and wait five days. Yeah, it's only five days. It's going to be out real soon. Well, yeah, really four days at this point. True. Very true. All right. Put this away and get some water real quick. Be right back.
All right, I return. She's taking care of and things. <clears throat> All right, moving on in. Welcome to the aftermath. Absorb that good crystal energy. Back to the Zaramon. Things have gone horribly wrong. sit closer to the others until we get environmental back my mom's coming to get me soon i know but go on just for now no my mom's coming your light here you can take mine can you talk to the fay wrong thanks kiddo i think i will A simple choice between the horrible one and the terrifying one. Let's fight Amar. Uh, but yeah, Nairo once again is considered usually to be the easiest. So we're fighting the harder of the two. 
Uh, Naira is generally pretty simple. Welcome to Mars, Anakin. You hate sand. Archon in the vicinity operate. Sorry, old habit. Don't sweat it. Hmm, a new one. I don't think I get it either. I know you. I feel it. Itching in my mind. You're not just some lucky drifter. Are you? Well, my Archon will be prepared for you and your friend. I'm afraid that luck of yours is all spent. Era, <clears throat> call off these aberrations. Give your sister a second chance at freedom. Are you so blind to the truth? You haven't won. You are a Dax in every way but name. A servant to the old golden lord. Oh, whoops. I missed an enemy. Whoopsies. Alright, we're going to do a little reset Sorry. there. Apparently I missed one of the scorches that was back there. I thought I got them all. Just torching me while I uh, hack the thing. What happened, Deacon? No, I think it was a Scorch that was just shooting his flamethrower at me, and I missed him. You're not just some lucky drifter, are you? Well, my Archon will be prepared for you and your friend. I'm afraid that luck of yours is all spent. Era, call off these aberrations. Give your sister a second chance at freedom. Jesus. Okay, I'll be more careful. Jeez. Archon in the vicinity operate. Sorry, old habit. Don't sweat it. Hmm, a new one. I don't think I get it either. Yeah, I've got I've got the heal and stuff. I'm just like not paying attention, I just like paying attention it. to the characters. I feel it. Itching <clears throat> in my mind. You're not just some lucky drifter, are you? Well, my Archon will be prepared for you and your friend. I'm afraid that luck of yours is all spent. Era, call off these aberrations. Give your sister a second chance at freedom. Are you so blind to the truth? You haven't won. You are a dex in every way but name. A servant to the old golden lord. A second chance. I see. Yep, I think You're this is the guy that I missed before. Trying to stop my archons from finding her. You're trying to bring her back yourself. Okay. By the way, she'll soon be returned. I think to we're us. all good now. And this time, as Nata, purged I will, of I will now stop being careless. Weakness. All right, time for the MR fight, which is probably going to be easier than getting through that room, apparently. All right, same kind of principles apply and do the good charge shots on him. Avoid getting slam a jammed. He's gonna summon his guys, much like Boreal. Did 
does have that charging attack, so you're going to want to uh, keep a pit between you and him. Using your one after he does his jump, we'll get rid of all the heat that he puts on you. Oh, I think he actually has to do his grab here. There we go. So I was keeping too much distance there. Happy out of this. Why do you conspire against me, Father? There is peace and dominion now. The first in centuries. Our people will finally flourish as we were meant to, atop the pyramid of living things. All of us, as one. Are you trying to convince me? Or yourself, son? Moving on through here. All right, and we have our little final showdown with Amar. Well, after these guys, of course. Okay, so here's his clones. Uh, the way you can tell which clone is the one that you're actually meant to shoot, the real one's holding the weapons. Uh, you can also hit three to use your little radar, and then he'll be the one that pops up on the radar. The clones won't. As before, just purge that with our one. Guys. Got this clone scan, I'll hit three here. It's this one over here. Rolling here to reduce damage. Guys again. Some more. Top three. And there he goes. Now we can go ahead and just take his launchable. And there we go. And we're back. Fairy stories ain't ever just about how monsters. Yeah, Naira, Naira is much less like here's the mechanical thing to solve, uh, than Boreal and Amar. Or just a straight up fight with her. Drifter, Drifter, Archon Killer, and closing the book on this particular fever dream. I'm a little unsure about this. Last time she snapped at you, what'll it be this time? Unless she sprouts fangs, I'm sure it's fine. Besides, there's still another Archon after this.
Here is your crystal. No biting this time, okay? Just absolutely slurping the shard. Welcome back. Time's up, kiddo. I can save them. All of them. But you have to want it. Let's say we shake on it. Sentient. She doesn't know who you are. No shit. What do we do? Run away. Operator, run. Lies. Away we go. Oh, she teleported once again. If you see her teleport in front of you, simply turn around. Get away from her. Run. Doing a good avoid. Teleports behind you. He's fine. That's what we call the long arm of the law. Here's a scene you can choose to interpret how you wish.
You're alive? I don't know what I am, but I know what I must do. <laughs> You know, Lotus has established a real habit of doing that. Just proceed to space. There's no longer plural archons. Tenno. Even hell was not hot enough to split them. What does it matter? We, you, have won. Normor spreads across the system. Monuments rise to your glory. All who live, Bios and not, kneel before you. But no, them! Some great triumph here that this dullard herd worships me, wailing freedom from their rotten gobs. When the truth is, they all thirst for that piss warm comfort of being told what to think. They wanted to kneel, but not them. Then what is your command? Gather the fleet. She is coming to us. What's left of her? She will kneel before me. And by my word, slaughter the only thing she has ever loved. And then... We feast. So we fly over to the Zaramon. Um, <clears throat> it's unclear how or why we know this is here, but it's here, and we fly over here. that for later actually it's the only time you ever see that statue we've seen that before
the hell? Hungry? Uh, yeah. Ordis, okay? Yeah, but what are... Got all your Warframes back. Yeah. Why did you... So, where's she at now? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Still missing a few from the deck. Hunting that golden freak, I figure. What's his name? Palace? Wait, 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 wait. So you don't know? Dallas, right. <laughs> you ought to be more careful. I might not be around next time. Around? Okay, so what is this, then? Are you from the... <laughs> future? Nah. But that'd be a lot easier to get now, wouldn't it? As far as I can make out... You're the me that got rescued from this shit, and I'm the you that did not. Not sure which of us got it worse. So, so good. So, you've been stuck here this whole time? Not here, exactly. But yeah, stuck. You got bigger problems. Right now, at least. To freedom. <coughs> yep, it's great. Ah, that's my cue, I think. Would love to give you a hand and all, but... The way this works... Seems like finishing this is either you, you, or me, you. So, what do we think? So it doesn't... So between this, you will get different flavor, but uh, you'll have the same abilities regardless of the way that you go. So just choose whatever you think is going to be fun. I'm going to go for the operator. The drifter side is very enjoyable. I did it first. So if you want to see my original playthrough of Deviri for that side, uh, there is another video for that. You know, she saved you. It's your turn. Bring her back safe, kid. Exodus protocols reversed. Orbital frontal section reattached. Running diagnostics. Corrosion minimal. Ah. All seals holding. Ordis? Stasis protocols lifted. Systems coming back online. Cephalon refit complete. Ready for operational cross check. Op uh. <laughs> it's good to be back, Ordis. Good to have you back, Operator. Systems cross-check when you're ready. Looking forward to... <coughs> tearing ballast in half. Finding the Lotus. Warframe vitals, strong. Warming up nicely. I've taken the liberty of rebuilding the Parasesis. Transference signal, strong. Okay, so of note, you do have to bring the parasitis with you, unfortunately. However, it also won't matter very much. Um, even as someone like Galervo, who has, of course, like you know, very reliant on the melee weapon for doing a lot of really goofy stuff, parasitis is more than fine for this mission, so it's not a big deal. Uh. 
So, Joy, this thing seems to have survived stasis. Hungry, no doubt. That's the helmet. The fleet seems to be redeploying. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it for now. Past Mercury. What is Ballas up to? Cetus. She's going to Cetus. She wants that Murex. Going after Ballas, then? Some kind of vengeance precept? Aldis had no idea she was strong enough for such a confrontation. She isn't. Not even close. We have to stop her, Ordis. All right. Now we are headed down to Cetus. I need to adjust just one little thing real quick. Gotta go ahead and just take this, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put our Necromex summon right in here. Boom, there we go. Now we have that. Oh, chat, thank you. There is also one other thing that we should do, which is if we come back here. Oh, can we actually not change that? We actually can't change that. No, we didn't. Never mind. Regardless, it, it won't matter. Change what? You, uh, don't worry about it. Not, a, not important. You can't change it. way to reach that murex undetected is up through the tower we must speak with konzu okay so big important thing here in terms of uh operator upgrades the stuff that i have uh, i have uh, some of the passives on the zeneric tree um that are gonna give me a little bit more energy and a little bit faster energy regeneration they're nice but not required at all here Who's been afflicted with one of those wretched Nama veils? Tear off the lion mask. Just start unveiling. Also, some bonus Ostrons that you can free, uh, but you do not have to. They're scattered around the town. Um, there's no known benefit to doing such a thing. Master T's and I is forever at your service. Sora, quickly now, come to the air dock. Hurry, oops. And now we can get in the balloon and just uh, use whatever you use to jump to go upwards. And whatever you use to crouch to go down. <laughs> we can fly on up. You can get anything for helping the Ostrons here? No. It's a it's a purely optional objective if you want to. DE luckily has not locked any like big exclusive content or anything behind any of those like optional checks of like did you do this that or whatnot. Use M5 for jump. Yes, I do. Not 
hop out here. Get our warframe back. The locals believe this tower to be inhabited by a great spirit they call the Unum. Uh, and then in here as well, you'll have people that have been veiled. This is also optional, but they're they're around in here. They're actually hidden pretty well. You're gonna want to make sure you check up on scaffolding and stuff if you're going to be uh, going around uh, and helping them all out. I'll get this one just because I'm literally standing right here. Buzz on through though. Don't need to worry about those guys at all. And head down here. Crystal, turn it on with your operator. Just head on up to the next floor. all the sentience if you'd like Oop, very dark okay, you do not have to fight them but of course feel free to don't believe they actually have any drops during this mission here we can head up once again And head on up once again. And now we are at the top as the Amurex gets away. I'm going to jump over here. These two crystals can be activated. You are on a timer here. We have a full minute to do this. So if you'd like to fight some enemies, feel free to do so, but it is not required. That's the Unum. We don't really know what her deal is, uh, but she can stop time, which is Operator, pretty good. I may be detecting something unusual. Should I focus scans? Uh, won't be necessary, Orgus. Stopping time, pretty good power. Your 
Mirax trajectory increasing on vector heading zero. And we're zero aboard the Mirax. Zero, right toward the main armor fleet passing Mercury. One against so many. There's no way she'll get through. This is not your fight, Tenno. Balance we're chasing the Lotus mine. down. You're not ready. He has manipulated you. Eliminate sentient resistance. Uh, these sentients are pretty weak just in general, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Even just Clairvos 4 here, and this is with like negative power strength, which is worth noting. Uh, they're not much threat here. The great sentient weapon of the old war. Uh, shoot these, just as we did when we were Teshin. Pergasa, the devourer. Yes, we know it. The ship that feeds on debris and derelicts to rebuild itself. Moving on. This anti resistance has got to go, and so it shall. Be there we are. Be. Moving on through. Here's where we're going to get introduced to a little mechanic. Her shooting the beam at us, and then we get a beam to shoot around. Just kill these sentients with it. And now we're out in space. On your six. Now this is the second thing that we need the Railjack for. initial few that you need your uh, well you'll want your upgraded guns for if you don't have them it's still totally doable might take you a couple tries maybe Get on it. 
time for a big shoot. We did it. Bit of a weird thing there. I think ship, think ship, uh, ship died at the same time I completed that. Um, we are on the completely unupgraded hull, of course. If you have any upgrades, that won't be a problem. Gravity metrics are chaotic. At current rate, this railjack will burn on approach. Weird. That thing appears to be eating the sun. We have got to stop it. What if, what if we approach using the wrecked ships as cover? Priority. Get close enough to execute slingshot maneuver. Time transitions with solar flare events for maximum cover. Engines locked. Just getting in closer here, hiding behind the rocks from the sun. There is going to be a guaranteed hull breach that's coming up here that will just happen. That's regardless of how upgraded My you are. Flock. You will join me there, of course, but by another path. The path of sacrifice. The path of oblivion. Cleansed of all doubt, for you will peer into pitch of day and find the sun is gone. It's heart rendered, beating in my hand. The cost of my passage. We are for this will equip our Omni. Let's go back and replace this, or replace, repair this. Crisis averted. Mission continues. behind the rocks and such as much as we can. Entering slingshot range. Or you just teleport up to the slingshot here. Aboard. Get a necromech in the barrel. You will need it. All right, Sonny. Get clear after launch. And then now we finally come to the part that you need a necromech for. This is the whole reason we needed the Necromech for this quest. My father was right, but it's too late. I cannot stop Ballas. No one can. Soon, my people and yours too will all be destroyed for the pride of one man. Follow me. Alright, now Arrow's a good guy. Yep, it's as simple as that. Now we gotta use our corn cob to follow him.
these enemies don't put up too much resistance. There we go. Just follow an arrow. Reminder, this is just with one mod in uh, both my gun and my Necromech. Necromech being, of course, completely unleveled for this. There goes chicken legs. Eliminate resistance once again. A little, little bit that there is. This is going to be a bit annoying because you got to shoot their canisters on their chest. There we go. There's that one dead. Ultimate fire. Pretty decent at this sometimes. But... Just make sure you're center of mass on the arrow list and it will pretty much go okay.
But yeah, let's move this on through. Go on era. And our Necromecker, for whatever reason, is out of juice. And there he goes. And here's Naira. So we've got to destroy these. I'm gonna go invisible while my moat recharges. Now this is open. Blow that up. Head over to the other side. Naira will be chasing you while you're doing this. Uh, all the Archons pretty much chase you around kind of the same in this section, so it doesn't really matter which one you got uh, after you. up and with that destroyed we can now use our warframe which is pretty good just heavy attacking with the parasesis also just to see how well it works with Galervo honestly parasesis does have inherent higher damage to um the sentience so not too bad here. Uh, invincible once again. Oop. Our Vectus, obviously not nearly as good, but still not bad. Even just the general heavy attack of the Pharisees is actually not horrible here. It's kind of no matter what you have, you're going to be fine as long as your Warframe is somewhat tanky. Which Calervo very much is. What and there she goes. glorious reunion. You and Mother Dearest both come to send me on my way. I am ready, Tenno. Are you... spare these worlds beg and I will make you complete again I had something different in mind I loved you once you were so like her you dreamed of a Marcellus you could control, but she chose death over you. I'm here with the exact weapon I should not have brought. Hello. But you can't, can you? 
still desperate to save her from herself. You never truly knew her, did you? What she most needs. Do you make me do these things? Whoops, we accidentally powered up the boss. Say I love you, my master. I... Love you, my master. Now, kill your child for me. All right, so now we have just a few mechanics to talk about. See these big old mirrors here? Those are going to be really important. Did not jump out fast enough. You need to be out of your warframe for this. We're gonna pop those mirrors real good. There's a good girl. Repair the hurt you have dealt us. And then these guys will spawn in. No! No! They're not a huge deal. Especially if Blairbo's the one holding the heavy attack button. I did jump out just in time here. Pop one of the mirrors. You had to have a child. And with an open heart, I gave you this. And my reward? Being left to watch as all your love, my love, poured into the bottomless well of this abominable child. We have more mirrors now. Remember! Remember what he did to you! I remember my old self dissolving beneath your fingers, shaping me, directing me. Also, there is a limit for the angle that you can reflect at, so you're going to want to stand somewhere. Basically, if you're standing anywhere where you've already popped a mirror, it's going to be pretty good for popping another. Yes, let's discuss what I did. I, who have endured your torture of me, your lies, your betrayals without complaint. All for you. And this is my reward. You, you, you lie. You are small. Get a big old mirror. <laughs> Pitiful. I am loved. Use Player Boss 4 here to simplify the process. A mask with nothing behind it. Pitiful broken. A puppet accusing her maker of a lack of substance, was it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Didn't realize we hadn't moved on yet. So now we have these mirrors here, which Paulus is shooting a big laser at me. Just have to have him uh, destroy those. And for this part, we just need to uh, laser him in the face. Oh, please. Beam. Uh, 
Here we are. Ballas, stop. Spare them. Spare them. And I will be whatever you want. Shut up. You are making me do this. Let's have a little beam here. And when this child is little dead, dialogue beam. You and I will have words. Look, it's a mirror. He got it pretty good. Feel pain or lies. There we go. As long as it is you registering appropriately, it's not too bad. Take my down. Vision, my future lies with Tab. Not here. Ow. Not with you. Stop. Stop. I jumped way too far. Here, we'll stand in front of this now. You there, a beam. Thank you. She has this coming. Do not interfere again. We're all about interfering, though. I cast you from my sight, Lotus. Big old mirror. You miss. How dare you miss? Get this thing. Thank you. I said stop. Big portal. Very well. I give you my death and yours as well. The unstoppable annihilation of every single last thing. Pleased? Satisfied? Are you now full up with death? vision was only ever comprehensible to myself. My ambition beyond the grasp of people. Thus, I have always been alone. Your death changes nothing. People warned me against you, you know, early on, before the Jade Light. <laughs> I should have listened. Child, run. Run? Where should they run to? You've only destroyed everything. Alone at last. Why do we keep bringing the Sentient Slayer with us? No, Neil. You monstrous bitch! He can now gaslight himself. Oh, there's like a million veils around the arena. We killed like, what, like 20 guys that were wearing veils all around this arena moments ago.
there he goes. Good fucking riddance. With that problem solved, we're going to need a new problem. That'll do. Luckily for us, the uh, drifter's still around because he's a big, strong man that can carry the Lotus. We are a very tiny child still. Okay, so to quickly talk about um, the different choices here. So this is not a visual choice. You can change this later uh, visually. Name-wise, this is always going to be what you have chosen. So this is more ideological than anything else. Um, I'm going to choose Natak because it's the only one I have never chosen before. And I want to hear the different, the slightly different dialogue that you get for choosing Natak. Uh, but I personally strongly feel that the Lotus is, like, the choice here. But just, you know, use your own logic determining that. If you want to go back and watch my original video for this quest, um, my, like, initial playthrough, I spend legitimately, like, a full hour talking about this choice and, like, you know, the different meanings of each name, essentially. Uh, but because I haven't chosen it before, we're going to click Nata. The times ahead will need decisiveness, power. I shall be Nata. Thank you for returning to me, Operator. Thanks. Glad, I'm glad Daily Reset happened. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thank you. Dead Night Ampules. My child. My friend. What was done is done. 
Ballas is no more. We have both woken from that nightmare at last. New dangers, new choices await us now. Few will be simple. Each moment unfolds into a thousand petal bloom of possibilities, and each one we will face together. For now, rest, dream of who we were and of who we have become. Nothing I could give could repay what you have done for me, but these items may assist you on your onward journey. Okay, let's talk about these items that may assist us on our onward journey. Um, so, we have the Rumblejack, which is the Drifter's little dagger. This is mostly just mastery. It's not actually particularly useful. Uh, we get the Sirico. So, for those of you that have not upgraded beyond your moat amp, the Sirico is a huge upgrade for you for all of your amp-related purposes. Uh, it is extremely helpful and useful. It is not as good as going and building the better amps that are available um, from either Cetus or Fortuna, but you just get it for doing this quest. So for that, it's quite nice. Uh, Nataruk, um, this is, I would say, the best bow in the game very easily. Uh, it does not need any Forma to perform exceedingly well. It's just generally really, really good. And then otherwise, this is all cosmetic stuff. You can have an amp skin that looks like the Sirico and such like that. And this also gives us access to both Angels of the Zaramon and also Veilbreaker, um, which are two quests that you should go and do uh, because they are... Well, some people don't like Veilbreaker, but I like them both, actually. Uh, and they are both worth doing for what they unlock with the Angels of the Zaramon unlocking some of the best content that I think exists in this game, honestly. Uh, and with Veilbreaker giving you access to some new things to mess with. But yeah, that's uh, that's going to wrap it up for the new war. And she used to have a whole sentient body. Oh yeah, she's still. You could you that's a, that's one of the skins that you can you can give her. Like if we look real quick in here, like she has this. This is this is her full Nata, but she had there's like a there's like a popped out like you see she's like kind of kneeled up in here. She like pops out as well. And you also just have your regular old Lotus that you uh you get so you get you get your choice plus Lotus and then there's some other skins that are in here as well. How did cross save stuff work out? That doesn't happen for four A new days. Quest is available in your codex. Operator, Ordis has been interfacing with the Foundry's AI presets. You could say we forged a new connection. We're going to grab the helmet segment, because I did also build that. Basically, the TLDR for the Helminth is that you can feed the Helminth Warframes, and then uh, one of the Warframes abilities, it's always the same one, uh, will be available to put on other Warframes. For Kulervo, this is not such a big deal, but many Warframes want a different Warframes ability to make them considerably stronger. We're gonna we're gonna steal Freezer's name because it's hilarious. Omega Poggers. <laughs> yeah, 
You can also just rename him later. Oh, you know, you're right. Hold on. Wait. Uh, the name thing is over here, actually. Yeah, Omega Froggers is really strong. You're right. That's correct. You're absolutely right, chat. You should say it. So yeah, so we now have access to that system. Uh, so you can go and collect Warframes to feed to it, and it will also need to be leveled up so you can hold, like, more, basically. Um, so in terms of feeding it, though, need to feed Omega Froggers. I do have a ton of Argon Crystals, so we'll at least toss some of these in there. Um... Don't have a ton of amazing options exactly for feeding him. Titanium is not a horrible choice. A lot of a lot of the railjack materials are actually like good options for feeding him, and also like some of the open world things like these. They also notice these are green arrows, so uh, you'll want to only feed him a green arrow thing. Basically, you'll get less whenever there you don't have that he wants it type thing here. Uh, from here. This one's a much more tough for newer players. Probably just throw some of these in, though. Uh, and then bile also can be a big problem. Once again, Railjack materials really come in clutch here, although not, not ISOs, probably never 200 ISOs. Um, but stuff like Ticker Plate is actually pretty decent for this. And also just farming a bunch of Argon is unironically not a terrible option. And Nav Coordinates are also one that you could go for pretty easily, but it's, it's a resource sink for sure. Is there anything here I'd want to throw in? Yeah, I can go for... Some titanium, just so we have some, some progress here. Uh, and then from this, you'll see... Oh, uh, whoops. Oh. Alright, let me do this again. Titanium. Lucents. Ganglions. Oh, uh, did we throw anything in for this? I don't remember. Get this, we throw in... If we didn't throw anything in for this. These choices in general are a bit rough. We can throw some comms in though. Yeah, so with this, you can see we have like next 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 reward uh, as we get like more and more things as we level them up. So we fed him a little bit. The feeding him gives us a chunk of experience. Subsuming warframes into him gives a huge amount of experience, um, and so on and so forth. We can actually see what all of the rewards are that we're going to get at different levels through here as well. You get like your first your first one is a uh, warframe subsuming plus three subsume slots uh, so once you fed him a bit essentially uh you get the ability to put warframes into him certain abilities that come only from him and things like that a three to four is pain yeah that's fair uh and then there's also an upgrade you can get uh for the helmet that basically gives you uh it's the infusions upgrade and if you get that, that also gives you a ton of experience for him, but is fairly costly. Or not infusions, invigorations, thank you. But yeah. New war completed. What say? What say we do Veilbreaker? And then go kill an Archon. All right, time for a bit of veil breaking. Uh, you said at the start that you'd explain the gaslight dust. Oh yeah, so, okay. What do, what do you mean explain the gaslight dust? It's Kuva. Um, also, the reason it, the reason the gaslight stuff didn't work on the drifter is because it is not eternalism proof. It thinks that the drifter is the operator, um, 
and because of that it's trying to gaslight the operator who the drifter is not that's that's the reason for that whole thing all right it's time for breaking some veils so that we can get to hunting some archons um so let's begin a bit more call Knight keeps saying Narmer isn't dead. Someone new is at the top. All she knows is a name. Hazul. Well, guess what, Tenno? I have a lead. I detected a dot code signal broadcast from inside a murex. It only says one thing over and over again. Need reinforcements. It's probably one of the freedom fighters Nora keeps talking about. If they made it into a Murex, they have to know about Pazul. Come on, Tenno, say you'll help. All right. Time to investigate the Murex. Also, wait, hold on. I do have the Azathane equipped. Okay, good. Wanted to make sure I swapped that. Do you stay organized uh, during farming for something? My head's about to explode trying to get my Necromech together. Yeah. Uh, it's more about just, like, tackling, like, one thing at a time most of the time. Also, writing stuff down can help. Whoa. The inside of a Murex. Organic scaffolds, node-based circulation, but on a scale I never thought possible. The Medusa network means I'm scanner blind in here. Knock it out and I'll pinpoint the location of our messenger. When Ballas and Narmer struck the system, I was ready to do something. Anything. Oops, not hard enough down. No. The family said we had to God, the heart of Deimos. I spent the entire war laying low in the Necrolisk, listening to Moronite talk about those brave few fighters who were out there doing exciting things. Not this time. Tenno, I think that's the central hub of the Medusa network. Without a scanner feed, you'll need to figure out how to disable it on your own. Um, where did that one go? Down below. I don't see where that one went to, actually. There it is. That was the below one that I remembered. That's it. Triangulating distress beacon. There. The signal originates from the other side of the Murex. I hope they're not too frightened to talk. It has developed immunity to your attacks. Try something different. All right. Welcome back to Call. Don't be afraid. We're here to Call not afraid. Call need brothers. Queen said blue girl. Uh, 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 that rat? Uh, uh, I can't believe I expected. 
expected to find out who Kazul is. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Call no Pazul. Excuse me? Call lead gun. Find call gun. Call tell about Pazul. Uh, of course, of course. Call, was it? There. Marking a weapon signature. In we go. So I'm glad these speed upgrades to call seem to have translated to the quest. That is phenomenal news. Wait, why is she racist? She's in a Roken. And I'm playing as a Grenier. Reminder that Grenier are a clone guide. slave race. I you out of here, but first, I need you to tell me about Pazul. Need blood to call five brothers. You help. Brothers? Brothers was not what we agreed to. You said gun. I got you your gun. Now tell me about Kazul. Find brothers. Then talk. Ugh, perfect. The field your brother is locked in is entangled with complex restraints. Get close. I'll use your signal to target a dissipation beam. Oh, even the new weapons Call are in the quest. What to do that one moving. Also, in a moment, I'll have to pause. Push Stand in circle. Conqueror doesn't want to cooperate. Brother, wake up. Call, give orders now. Come. Where you lead. Follow. All right. Good work. Now, real quick, I'm going to pause real quick. I'll be right back.
I'll ever just like forget that you have food. Y'all ever just forget? Should have stopped after New War to grab this, but now editing Zyme's problem is what's occurring. Oh, I very commonly forget to eat whenever I'm doing stuff. I think maybe the first thing I forget is sustenance. Nearly immediately. First one to go. Realities merging, we don't know that. I'm fairly certain we do not have the connective thread between Drifter and their Duviri stuff happening, and then how they get to and help us during New War. It's fucking unclear, bud. We were hoping Duviri give us some clarity on that, but honestly, Duviri answered basically no questions about the Drifter and how they interact with like our story as a whole, and gave us instead mm, pretty much all the answers we could ever want to what the fuck happened to Teshin. And then only raised more questions about what the fuck was going on in Duviri. I assume they swap places when the operator goes into the void. But where does that mean the drifter shows up? They can't show up on Pergasa. Well, I mean, technically they can, but they're void powerless. Also, yeah, no, you, you're, you're, um, M, you point out a good, a good point. We know that the beginning of uh, the Duviri paradox is synced up in some way with, um, with New War whenever we go into the portal. And all of Duviri still needs to happen at that point. Has DE ever written a story that has more answers and questions? Actually, yes. It's Veilbreaker. Veilbreaker has pretty much one question. Also, you have the sacrifice as like a shitload of like question answering, like the whole way down.
I feel like I refer to the sacrifice as the recap episode. It has so many answers in it. Yeah, from Veilbreaker, we're mostly like, what truly is the deal with Pazul exactly? And then otherwise, we get like every an question answered about what happened to Call? What's Call up to now? What about all this stuff? Like, we get a bunch of answers to that. Like, we know Call's entire deal. You know call, why Call loses his veil? Uh, we don't have a super clear answer on that, but it's probably the same deal as Teshin. because the drifter broke the veils on fortuna no there's still enemies that have veils and stuff it's not that all the, the, the only thing that the drifter was doing on fortuna was getting a ship Paul's already resisted the queen mind conditioning, so it's been established he has a strong will. That's true. I definitely agree with that. Not a problem, Moon. Glad to see people getting their drops. Also, I'm going to take care of this plate and stuff, get a little more water, and then we're good to go.
All right. All right, food consumed. Good thing I was set to solo so I could pause. We're back in it. Grenier are good at destroying things. Shocking. Blue girl, where are others? Grenier have a lot of brothers, Call. They're not all going to fit aboard my friend's lander. I don't know how, but you need to find a way across. Wait. Oh, no, this is the... Get bigger. Oh, this is the shotgun. I love to see this. Hmm. show what appears to be a Grenier dropship, but it might not even be operational. Call make work. Isn't this supposed to be where I pick up the jetpack? I thought it was. I'm wrong. Call. Oh, I just had to wait. One eight zero. <clears throat> Same tube. Australian pack. How hard could be? Alright, now we can fly. We picked up Paul's little shotgun, which is my favorite thing that he can have. This one's just a corpus. Uh, call know what Vale like. Nobody deserved Vale. Get them. Need to get in position. It's not working on that. All right, noted. Call Another circle. Stand in both places. circle. Never really. You're supposed to put your brothers in one, and then you're in the other. So I always just bringing uh, your brothers to the circle. Then we can head back on up. You go to other spot, brother. Stay there. Much, much faster that way. You did already. For the queen. And also uh, hit G and then hit right click, and it'll regroup everyone. Away we go to the next objective. You're coming up on the full core, and of course, it's held in place by a tether node. Grimlock, which I'm okay without. I devised an eight step plan to evade security and gain access. Step one. Yeah. Brother bomb node may kill. No time, blue girl. Call do. Good boom, brother. Shit's blown up. Get over there.
Quarterback is weird. It's like a cross between a shotgun and a bug sprayer. That's fair. That's fair to say. Brother did good. Brother, that one. Please blow that shit up. and then clicking it in order to uh, mark them. This you can blow up with just whatever. We fight for no queens. We fight for brothers. I can pilot this thing remotely, but I need you to man the guns. Man the guns. Blow up the things keeping us in place. Still has a grip on you. Take it out. Grab big gun. I'll see if there's another way to get you and your brothers out of here. Which is of course very useful. There's an interview with Rebecca that went up, interesting. After this quest, we will take a look at that. Growler gets way less ammo later. Need to split up. Call go there. Brother go there. Brother, time to fight. Also, a fun thing that uh, you can do if one of your guys goes down, you can actually command one of your other guys to res them so you don't have to do it. And brother to other mother. Okay. 
Not what I wanted to do. And there's Bazool. Another job well executed. Call, this is Blue Girl. Did my friend get you all set up? Tenno is friend. Call tell Blue Girl about Pazool. Body is dead worm. Head like animal. Dead worm. Is that all? <laughs> what more to know? Want kill Pazool? Find brothers. Break veils. Kill Narmer. That what call do. Fine, I'm in. We'll get more done working together. Face it, that rat. You need me. If Narmer make veils, call in Blue Girl. Break them. All right. Let's go talk to Call. Who helped Grenier today? Not Queens, not Vehek. Tenno and Blue Girl help brothers. Other brothers still have Veil. So call break. This camp little, but soon it get big. You see. Call not afraid. And now call not alone. Alright, and the quest for Veilbreaker is now completed. So uh, this opens up a number of different things for us. Uh, this gives us access to Call's missions. We make Quaka stew. Uh, so for these, you have these optional objectives whenever you go in and do them. Uh, and then as you complete these objectives, you get stock, which then can then be turned in for rewards. This is the grind for Styanax. There's a bunch of cosmetics in here and also a few good weapons as well. Call. Uh, alongside, of course, getting Itchy more Archon Shards from this. Good working with Tenno. This should also have unlocked for us, I believe, uh, our Archon Hunts, unless we need to do a few of these before that actually opens up. Oh, yes, that also has opened up our Archon Hunts, so now uh, we can do Archon Hunts. These are weeklies. Eventually, you will get... Well, every time you do this, you will get the Color Shard that is on rotation, uh, and then you have a certain chance that goes up each week that you don't get it to get a more powerful shard. So this unlocks that whole system for us. Uh, so we can go off and um, attempt to subdue our, the Archon. Uh, so for this, I think I want to try and solo the whole thing with what we have right now. Okay. If lost upon the plains outside Cetus, you may derive sustenance from mineral dense termite droppings, which the Ostrons call Rito Da. The Narmer ha no, not the, the Narmer. The uh the Archons have uh, alloy armor, I believe, so radiation would be appropriate, I think. The system for Archon charts different for each color, it is. Uh 
combos I'm not even worried about. And then... Instead of Hunter Munitions. The big thing here is that Overextended I don't think is going to fly here. I think this is going to be the old Fleeting Expertise type beat. Because I think we're going to need the strength here. Oh yeah, let's let's look at let's look at that interview. What do we have going on here? Let me see this. Shame I won't be able to remove this from the YouTube archive. Sorry for those of you that are watching the free to play through on uh, YouTube vods. All right. Editing time, remove this part. Yeah, well, not as much we can do. Uh, confirm the power release date for some whispers on the walls update. Just for DJ, you went up with Worm Crater. Talk about whispers on the walls. This is the gameplay trailer. New Warframe expansion, Shadow of the Game Wars. Announcing launch date of whispers on the walls. Next, we go off our cinematic arc. Uh, players who want to get a quick refresher, so they can go to this one. Would you recommend? Definitely study up on the lore. But we will give them a cheat sheet, which we know is going to be like the little computer thing. Hop in and play your own face. The update's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's this is all correct. Um, talk a little bit about the primes that you were launching with the new expansion. Oh, this is about Goss being moved to January. Okay, cool. This is a business decision. We didn't want to do too much at the end of the year because we have a supporter pack and other packs coming, so we wanted to phase out. Uh. Just how much we had days out? Probably just probably probably meant space out, I suppose. Are there any prime reworks on the horizon? For prime reworks, we have no hard plans. Well, we have some plans, but we're not ready to talk about them. We want to be very strategic with who we rework next year, which is interesting. That means probably something will happen at least. Is there a list of Warframe or is there a list that Warframe fans are talking about when it comes to the primes most in need of a rework? Yes, uh, I know what we're doing. I've talked about it. I don't already say exa uh, exactly under what update or how we're going to approach it, but absolutely we'll be doing one next year. So at least one Warframe is going to get reworked next year. Okay. Uh, one of the wanted to ask about Deviri right now. The base Deviri uh, does save progress after every wave around. So they're curious if endless missions in the Deviri circuit would do this thing. Right now, circuit is an all or nothing gamble. We don't love that. We do intend to investigate sometime next year how quickly we could release progress saving. Honestly, it's on our to-do list. It's just a matter of when. This is great news. This is really good. Hopefully this like would be spaced like for like the whole of the game. Um because this is the thing we've talked about where like it's actually really unfortunate that players are incentivized to leave the moment they get even like a little frisk um with an enemy. Like the confident like you have to be at like basically 100% confidence the moment you're past like the first two waves of rewards because if you were to fail, um you would just lose everything. Uh and if if this would mean that they would be changing it to what we've talked about in the past, which is like, oh, if you completed, you know, wave 15 of a defense and then you fail on wave 18, you still get your 2A rotations and your B rotation even still. Um, that, I think, would go a long way for players, like, staying longer in missions and being like, well, well, let's see if I can do it and then I'll fail, which I think would actually go a long way for two things, which is, one, players going further and like, you know, finding out how far they can go. And two, players not saying that everything is, you know, the easiest shit in the world whenever they chicken out on wave 10 of a defense mission. So that's that, that's interesting if, if that's like the, the place that this is going. Because we've talked about this a lot. Um, and wonderful, with the addition of new Archon shards, I believe you're bringing up the total to six, if I'm not mistaken. Are there plans to rebalance Vile for shard removal? What? Who is doing this interview? Who is the... Who, what is this website? These are some fucking... These are some good questions. Uh, yeah, actually, in Whispers on the Walls update, we're reducing the amount of bile needed. Okay. Great. These are really particular questions here. They asked the Reddit? I guess so. The guy posted on Reddit for questions to ask? Damn. Okay, well, he fucking... He picked some winners in here. Fucking good on that guy's part. For real. 
Uh, and then will you be increasing the amount of bile that you get as well? Or is it just the reduction? I think we've just reduced the cost right now. I think we're giving you more things that give you bile as well as we're reducing the amount required. Uh, are there plans for more incarnate adapters? Yes, there are. We intend to ship five next year. We just don't know when. That's good. Probably means adding a new week to Duviri um, for like another cycle. That's probably what I would take away from that. Uh, but still, we love the incarnate so far, so that's good to get more. Personal opinion, have there been any games really this year that could inspire mechanics for Warframe? Baldur's Gate 3, no further comments. Hmm. 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 Interesting. What could that possibly... What could... What me mechanically... What could that possibly be? Don't say sex. Come on. Fucking spells. Okay, fair enough. That's really wild. Uh, all right, this is a very specific one for a very specific character. Is there any chance of Yoreli being able to cast helmet abilities while riding Marilina? No, we've decided not to do that, so we're not going to support it. I mean, fair enough. Uh, Yoreli will continue to use Gloom, everyone. Uh, is there any possibility of having her collision box just so that she doesn't uh, bang her head on doorways? Uh, that is more likely than the other thing. Okay, sure. All right. There's some fucking real Yureli lovers out there on the Reddit, apparently. <laughs> this would be nice, though. This, this, her not banging her head on doorways. I mean, that would be good for her. Oh, man. Uh, another one about Helmet's abilities. Would you ever consider allowing Grendel to cast the abilities while in ball form? That's probably easier than the Yureli one, but probably still no. Also reasonable. Uh, we know what happened whenever he was allowed to do that. That was fixed. And can you talk anything about the third orb mother? Are you planning to revisit that at all? Well, that's a tricky one. I would love to answer it today, but I'll say ask me next year. Okay. What about modular arc wings? We have no vision for that. It's a shame uh, that all that content was made. Uh, we would love to do something with it, but we have zero designs to support it. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. Uh, any plans to add reaction to the open world of Warframe? Kind of. We've done prototypes of how you can fly it around above the open world. It feels cool, but from an actual update where that happens, there's no plan yet. Prototype only. Okay, so there's maybe something with open world's railjack stuff. I don't know how much that would really work. Uh, as far as weapons go, are there any plans to add in more sparring weapons because it's one of the more neglected types? Yes, actually, we have one coming top secret. We'll show you in January. Wait, it's actually a fist weapon. It's not sparring. Okay. Uh, is that going to be associated with a very specific Warframe? No. All right. That's mysterious I uh, spar the sparring those weapon types are both bad they're both terrible so okay anyway uh going back to devere decrees there's been a lot of positive reception around the persistent attrition for example is there any possibility of seeing some more of them reintroduced into the mainline content let's say no unless there's a reason right now devere is devere and there's not going to be a uh, stream cross anytime soon that makes sense a lot, a lot of those are cer certain arcanes and stuff are clearly not just going to be ported over um when will the nakana weapon get some love People hate the stance. Maybe we'll take a look next year, but no promises. What is this? What the fuck is this? What is this? What? I'm confused. Okay. First and foremost, Nikanas are one of the most well-represented weapons in the game. Yeah, they have to, this has to mean two-handed. Has to mean two-handed Nikanas. Because regular Nikanas have three good stances. This has to be two-handed. Gotta be two-handed. Yeah, mu this has to be referring to Wise Razor. Yeah, because Blind Justice is cracked. So yeah, no, this this must be referring to Wise Razor and two-handed Nakanas. Um, because regular Nakanas are so good. So yeah, this this would be, this is a very weird, this is weird. This one's weird. Uh, any fixes you can talk about that are in the works for Deviri host migrations? Well, if we let you save all your progress, those migrations become a lot less lethal. So let's do that first. I would say we have some housekeeping to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this, this is also an, this is an extra point to this that is additionally true, is that if you do the continual saving thing, if you get host migrated and then, like, shit is fucked over or whatever, and, like, the game crashes or whatever, you still keep everything. So it's like, ah, the game crashed, but I kept all my stuff, so fuck it, whatever, move on, right? Like, if, if that's what happens, is, like, if it saves every five waves in defense or every five minutes in survival or whatnot, and then, you know, you just accrue all that stuff as opposed to losing it whenever you get host-migrated real bad or something. Um, 
that would that really just kind of fixes the problem. Obviously, less host migrations would be great, but you know. Uh, are the community warframes going to become a yearly thing that the community can vote on, or is it more of like a spur of the moment? Spur of the moment for sure. We actually have a pretty robust plan of warframes we're going uh, to make, so no voting next year. All right. Uh, every time a new expansion comes out, you always have a dearth of new players coming on board. Is there any sort of new player experience overhaul in the pipeline? Yes, we have one coming with Whispers in the Walls, with just a more streamlined quest. The update launches, you'll be able to get to the new stuff faster, which we we know about a lot of uh, this stuff with like removing MR requirements and stuff like that. Obviously, the Necromech changes that kind of already snuck their way in were supposed to be part of Whispers, so this is all in line with things we kind of already know. Four missions, be it exterminator or defense, do you think that they are in a good place right now? Do they also get a rework? Uh, it would be a very strategic choice to touch those right now. They're so ubiquitous in the game, we probably won't. We intend to release an exterminate mission with Whispers in the Walls. Some people want a very easy game mode, and we're not going to take that away from them, which is extremely fair. Dearth is the wrong word. Is it? A dearth is just like a very large amount, right? Oh, dearth is lack of? Oh, even I have that backwards. Well, fair enough. <clears throat> uh, what are the odds a player would ever get liches or corpus sisters as companions to take into missions instead of the animals and robots? Zero? That's a direct answer. Guys, you can do this. Yeah, maybe deluge was meant. I could see that. You you can do this. You can summon you can summon your lich in your mission. I'm pretty sure you can set them to be your on call. You can already you can just do that. That's already that's in that's in the game. Yeah, they already they they can be on call. I never use them for on call because they're bad at it. But they, they you can do that. That's in the game. Um, can you talk a little bit about the story of Warframe 1999? No. Fair enough. He plans to give Varuna's fourth ability a walking or running animations, kind of. We have an augment that we could do, but it's a design question now. Honestly, um, that's a hard maybe. I mean, I designed her. She's my baby, so I get it. Uh, but I'm also in charge of everyone's time, so I also get that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the additional time to adding all those like special animations to Varuna would be pretty fucking brutal, I'm sure. Uh, any plans to rebalance old weapons or, uh, at least add in new incarnate adapters? Yeah, we could probably go the incarnate route, and we do plan on doing that. Uh, do you have a time frame for adding in new weapon augments similar to the Syndicate or Night Waves? We do plan on putting out Night Waves mostly. A Night Wave just launched last week. Uh, there's weapons in there. Uh, there will be more of that, which is good. I mean, we like getting... The, the augments on the Night Wave, I think, are good. Uh, seems like it has a really good... Cadence right now, it has about one or two augments coming every season. Absolutely, that's a general idea. There's a weapon you love, maybe you'll get an augment. Yeah, that's fine. The you love having alternate ways to kind of build that weapon would also be fantastic. Exactly, it's like a little skill tree for the weapon of mons. Gonna make Stalker accessible in the arsenal and playable everywhere like the other Warframes. We do have plans for the Stalker for next year, and we'll be sharing those plans within the next three to four months. Not that specifically there will be things. Please, please don't add the Stalker PvP thing. Please don't add that. Please do not waste time adding that, please. With all the animals that are available in conservation, will more be added as companions? Probably not. Maybe as a cosmetic, which is fair. Man, you know what would be good as cosmetic? The little, um... Shit. Um... These guys. The, the, the um... Verminx. The Verminx. As, as, a uh, As dog cosmetics would be good. I would like that. Uh, players get a form of focus schools for companions. No, we have no plans for that. We do have another big part of our companion rework, which I can't wait to see that. Oh, dude, the pangolins. I would love getting. I would love that. The bola rolas are so excellent. Any plans or suggestions for more broken weapons, like how broken and Karnan, uh changes its type, like a dagger and so forth. The broken and Karnan. Oh, the Inadem? Oh, okay. Hmm. Questions about yourselves and your role. Really for it. What aspect of the new job and role is surprising you the most? How much pressure there is? Oh, I can't imagine why there would be so much pressure. <laughs> I don't think I get a good night's sleep anymore because I feel like I'm responsible as a team lead. Also, as someone that loves the game, I don't want to disappoint anyone, least of all myself, so it's a very emotionally different. That's fucking rough. What's this? This is a big interview they did with Rebecca. 
Um, has Scott McGregor, former Warframe director, had enough time to step away from the project and finish rebuilding his truck? Yes, it's done. He sent me a video of his family driving it. It's amazing. All right. Has ever considered branding out to other merchandise like food and drinks, such as, say, Lotus Tea? I wish we actually have, like, a weird tea here. But, yeah, no, maybe. I would ask someone to do that and hope that they did it. <laughs> Little Duck was originally from the Warframe Ghouls graphic novel. Okay, we're immediately we're at deep cut mode here. Fucking graphic novel mentioned. Debuted along with Mitsuki and others. Is there any chance to see Mitsuki appear in game like Little Duck? Unfortunately for the Mitsuki fans, probably not, but you never know. Right now, there's no plans. He's probably dead. Uh, are there any plans for exploring the Warframe setting in more external media, such as delving into comics again? I would love that. And yes, we're not working with a comic house, but I really want to do a webcomic next year to get that back. Cool. I I, I really liked the, the comic stuff that they were doing. I thought it was really cool. Uh, is there a specific Easter egg or something that you're so passionate about you want fans to look forward to Whispers of the Walls? Kind of treated it very much... Uh, in the series updates, there's not a lot of hints, but there are a couple of lines that some characters say, so listen to the characters. We'll sound, yeah, as we do. For Sarah during this, think she'd have some interesting commentary on this. She's playing Control currently. Lastly, uh, will we get another musical number? Yes, I hope so. We have plans, uh, and part of being in L.A. is like, how can we do something wild for Warframe 1999? I would hope that if everything goes according to plan, music is the soul of next year. Interesting. Okay. I've never heard of this website before, but they had, like, a good chunk of interesting questions here. Neat. Neat. Operator, messages have arrived in your inbox. The inbox has messages for the operator. Anything about orders in there? Oh, yeah, I have to actually build this. I forgot. What does this even take to build? I built it instantly before. Uh, well, you know, I guess I can get the shard, but it's going to be a hot minute before I can actually use it. I have the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Still, though, we should try and get that shard regardless first. Yeah, the bio cost going down is really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, go equip the Sirico. Absolutely agree. You there, small child. Sirico acquired. Can you even get the shard before unlocking that? Yeah, I mean, I can do the alert, so it's got to drop, right? Okay, I think that we should have, like, a decent shot for this. I mean... We're, we're, it's mobile defense into disruption. Disruption being the hardest game mode that it can give you, I would say. Um, but Calervo's pretty decent at disruption, so we're going to see how this goes. Obviously, it is worth noting that you can trust very much so that you're pretty much always going to get full parties for these. Um, but I'm, I'm curious if we can just solo through it. Without having and going to get like you know more gear upgrades than we already have. The fastest way to locate Pazul's archons is to upload me to Narmer's systems. I shall be strong where he was not. Oops. Yeah, 27,000 slash rocks is not bad. Still working on it. Continue to defend.
Yeah, unfortunately, Shade is going to die a bunch here. The Shade has very, very few upgrades. We're trying to take that down. Still working on it. Continue to defend. than I'd like. Also one of like the worst terminals for my current power setups. Speaking of which. Are you done charging enough? Prepare to be tied to this thing. Do they have to put regular work for into rail track? Tenno, your codex has been no last gas. Oh yeah, I don't have any revives, huh? I forgot that it was even a modifier. Wait, I thought that the terminal died. I died. I just needed to fucking pay attention more. <laughs> Why not use specters? I don't have any specters. Vectors are locked in the Archonaut? Are they? I actually didn't know that. Alright, hold on. If, if I died there, that's not actually a big deal. Let's just try that again. And yeah, my fucking mouse was plugged in and I was fucking fighting it that whole time. You're gonna solo? Well, that was the plan that I was doing before. <clears throat> I for I totally forgot about the like. I haven't died in one of these missions in so long. I forgot that that was even a restriction.
Okay, I thought the terminal died. Because normally I don't have to, like, really care, like, if I go down. Because, like, I've got four revives. It's not that big a deal. Also a souped up mission, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. This is like this. This has. This is like. It's kind of like half seal path, but also it's like always an Eximus like stronghold. Basically, is like kind of how it works. you stop that. Luckily, energy is not really a problem on these missions. But well, this one's usually not a bad terminal because it's up on a hill. What side I want to throw this on, though? I'm probably just right on it, I guess. Really got to go farm Augur Reach. Augur Reach would really go a long way for me right now. Har har, long way, Reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stretch is one of the tutorial mods. I don't have to farm that. down. Don't know how forgiving disruption is going to be for us. I think I think I actually need to go invest in a particular upgrade before we do disruption. for no energy drain yeah that's definitely the truth Tenno, energy drain can screw us been updated with a new quest. well energy drain actually is like not that bad we'll just have like a damage deficit 
which this thing that I'm about to grab should help with. Temporal drag, as far as I remember, works on them, so having the slow would be pretty nice. I'm, I'm going to grab a uh, level 1 temp drag, 60% slow for 6 seconds, which is really not bad at all. I need that anyway for a thing later. Tomos has a, a viral proctor. I guess. I don't think its status is really high enough for me to really do that without kind of a full build. No, it's 21%. I could probably do that. Bordis is happy. Angry. Hmm. I may require maintenance after all. Ah, a cunning combination, hmm. operator. Probably not worth doing. We'll just see what my damage is like, regardless. Yeah, d these disruption targets are super, super tough, so it is it is a little questionable how good the damage is going to be here. In a group, this is usually not really a problem, because you can just, like, mob them, but, uh... Go pub. That is against the point of what I'm doing here, but I could do that, yes. It would be very easy to pub it, yes. We need to ransack them. Yeah, that, that's that's the thing is that I know I can do it if I pub it. Yeah, farm the epitaph real quick for a primer. I mean, farming the epitaph is really actually not very hard. Little duck spawn the enemies. One. All right, not energy drain would just be phenomenal for me, please. Tenno life steal weapons, whatever. The buff for me. This way. Got to catch this guy early. Why? Please attach to the enemy. Okay. Not bad, actually. Not too terrible. A little sus, but that was mostly due to it, like not wanting to do my one on him right away. But I can activate my one buff regardless if I actually touch it on them or not, so that's fine. The yeah, thing continues to impress me, especially with this fucking budget-ass budget build. here. 
Okay, we're good. Fuck you, turret man. shield before I go fight this. A strip and a strofa should be fine. Oh, yeah. I think it's that way. That is the toughest disruption target, so that's pretty helpful to know that I can get him. Void Blast, that's the Zeneric too. I'm using it to slow them so that I can get more hits in before they get to the target. Not that way. This way. Stop running. But I do have enough damage for it. I forget, whenever it's on this, you can't fail a single key, right? Or else it's like a total mission failure, right? Oh, can you? Oh, okay. We're like super fine then. I just have to focus on not dying. Obviously, I, I do need to kill these guys, but... You can fail two. Okay, so I, I, have, I have a little... I have a little leeway. Obviously, I don't want to use any of it. I don't have to. I do have some I do have some room for like simply like you know kind of getting unlucky or whatnot though. Okay. Is that so terrible? Freedom from desire. 
Yeah, luck luckily Kalervo can just like reapply the shit out of his one, and it's not like a a problem to be constantly nullified because it doesn't remove my defenses or anything like that. <clears throat> so I can just use my fucking one like 16 times on them. I feel like I've guessed wrong. That's bad. I did guess wrong. Okay, we got him pretty good there, though. I think I got a headshot on one of my hits there, which was uh, going a long way. <clears throat> Need to kill an Eximus or two. Need to make sure I have enough energy to spam whenever I need to spam, you know. The energy generation. <clears throat> um, let me give it a second. Energy here, anything? Okay, plenty of energy now. Hear that beeping? Demo units on its way. Probably this way. Yep, cool. Okay, we're, we're, we're real early on this one. There's also our weak guy, though. Okay, that, that's the weakest one, so. One more. One more, and then this is like... I, I would I would say disruption as hard as possible, probably, for, um, for an armor missions. So, doing really well so far. These guys do, however, need to give me a key. Okay, It'd be a bad 50-50 for me. Don't hear it, I'm gonna go to this side. Be good. Well, I'm glad I turned around when I did. Okay, we actually have a lot of time. Fucking good shit. Examine your own heart, Nita. <clears throat> Peel back its blackened layers and look deep. Okay. You got out while you still could. Smart move. Now the only thing is, we have to fight Amar. <laughs> should be doable i agree Tenno, your codex has been updated with a new quest nataruk nataruk's not gonna help here okay yeah let's uh let's just fucking go for it Assassin, 
used to silence those who speak out against Narmer. Much as Plazul himself tries to stifle the voice of Era within his mind. <laughs> Generation. Make sure I'm kind of topped off here. All right. Let's see how the Azathane treats him. Hopefully, like a bitch. Amar. He will close the distance shockingly fast when he creates duplicates. He fucking doesn't like it. Ads. I need ads that my two works on. There's some. You guys ain't nothing. Oh shit, that's bad. Fuck you. You there. Okay, we're good. We're past phase one. Not too bad. Definitely want to be at 14k whenever I get into these fucking things, though. Shade actually, like, being a pretty good companion here, also. Deacon veils are holy regalia in Tazul's eyes. They will open this gate even if their bearer is dead. This strength shard would actually also really be nice to have. If I get it, I'll pretty much as soon as possible, I'll just slap it into Calervo. Because as like as like a new player, leveling like those strength mods and getting those to like big thresholds of like huge damage is actually like kind of takes forever. Strength or melee critical? Uh, oh yeah, you know what it is? Melee crit damage. That's actually probably better, especially as like a new newer player. Yeah, melee critical damage is actually super correct. I hadn't considered that. There's so few Warframes who use it. Honestly, I might do strength though because of the defensive benefits that it gives me as Kalervo. And obviously, without being able to max out the Umbral mods, uh, I am a bit more squishy than I otherwise could be with further investment in that de that department. It's also much, much harder to get investment in that department than it is in shards.
Because, like, le leveling all the Umbral mods to maximum, we're talking about, like, you know, 120,000 endo, right? It's pretty considerable. And even if you're only looking to get them to nines, that's still 60k. All right, Amar. Just, uh, just treat me easy here, huh? Give me a little... Give me a little leeway. Let me just beat your ass a little bit. These enemies I don't want to kill because I want them to actually follow me into this arena. Because unironically, them existing will be good for me. Because I'll be little recharge points for me to put my shields back on. Right away with the mechanics, huh? Fucking hates it. Get bent, Amar. Amar thought himself a hunter. Now he is a mere trophy. Uh, I'm only on radiation. I'm not on cold damage. But I am on radiation damage. Alright, so the answer is yes. We can defeat these Archons. Oh, three four mode, that's so fucking pog, actually. Holy shit. It's like so good for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck the Tau, it gave me three four mode. It's so good. <laughs> oh man. I'm not not used to being on an account where the secondary reward can even matter. All right, so yeah, the the answer is that yeah, I can I can do Archon hunts. Probably the hardest one is Boreal, um, because of his little ads that he spawns being kind of a problem, but still doable. It's not Tao, yeah, whatever. I do not care about that. Still counting the hunts as sorties for the in-game achievement. I mean, they are like a super sortie. I mean, that's like even the way. The DE talked about him. Also, I did that before I did a, re a normal sortie, which is really funny. I wouldn't say you need a gunblade for Boreal. Like, I could just have, like, the Nataruk all set up um, for those guys, because I, I believe the Nataruk actually works pretty well on them. Speaking of which, I do need to equip this just to start leveling it. Comes with a catalyst. So broken. Absolutely fucking busted. What is reminds the operator to take time for themselves? Pressure creates diamonds. Yes. Royals ads can be absolutely uh, styled on with a 7xx. Uh, doesn't care about the canister accuracy. Fair. During the first few days, how bad is the Deviri grind? Assuming I haven't even done the intro quest for it. Not bad at all. Super easy. You basically, if you spend, you end up spending like including the quest you end up spending like four to six hours in duviri uh and you walk away with the azathane colervo um a bunch of extra currency for grabbing some catalysts or reactors from duviri uh and then you also get like thirty thousand minimum uh mastery 
So, like, it's the equivalent of leveling, like, 10 weapons while also farming one of the best Warframes in the game, while also getting the weapon for one of the best Warframes in the game, and then, like, it's, like, the best version of the type of weapon that it is. Um, and you get a shitload of MR, and it, it, it's really good. You should, you, like, Dewey Duviri, like, the time spent in it, like, it is more time to get Kulervo, but the thing about it is you get a ton of other stuff that you probably do also want. Planning on updating Warframe builds with Archon included? I haven't seen any of your old builds that didn't include Archons. Meaning, like, in terms of shards? Uh, the ones that, like, really rely on shards for a new build will get it, but if they just have, like, some bonus that, like, I guess you could throw on, uh, then... You know, like, put all the crit critical damage stuff on Baruch. And it's like, well, he already kills everything in one punch. Well, they, well, well, more damage. Punch number go up. <clears throat> Do you not recommend, recommend Zephyr for new players now? No, Zephyr is still, like, an incredible new player Warframe for sure. What's on but, like, Colervo is a really, really good option. It really just depends on if you look at the Warframes and you go, oh, yeah, I would like to use that. One thing I will say about Zephyr, Zephyr probably is a little worse in uh, a lot of your, like, boss fight type situations here. Like, against the Archons, I feel like Zephyr would do much, much worse. But still, like, not horrible. Let's get back to it. Azorus with Wrathful Advance would probably do better for Boreal. I could see that. That just in general should be pretty strong anyway. Still think the Proboscis Cernos is worth investing into, or should Min Maxers just go for the Incarnate weapons? Just go for the Incarnates. Need a fashion from the Nether Rook. Alright, alright, alright. Damn. We did it. Does Wrathful Advance work on Glaives? Yes. Uh, it will give it the buff, but it won't throw it whenever you tell it. Do you think Corvex is a CC frame? He's not out yet. Time Night Whip does have his alternate element. Yes, but I'm not making decisions based on like bash and stuff on the uh, the free to play. Because that, that just doesn't make any sense. Isn't his helmet really hard to build anyway? Like, it has, like, a weirdly large requirement. It takes Nitane. I'm not going to also purchase the Nitane for this. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's 50 creds. That's 50 creds. Just to get the helmet. No, thank you. But the fashion, yeah. Those credits could instead be in a Roken Reactor or a Catalyst, though. Another 50 credits is really good. God, the pack of Forma here. God, Forma's so much more accessible now. Okay, so yeah, I guess our big major thing now is that we need to do Angels of the Zaramon to, well, get access to the helmet segment in order to be able to install those shards. Um, Angel of the Zaramon itself is not a very difficult quest, and also it's like one of the best farms that exists in the game. So, yeah... Grabbing like two Lanthorn and some Plasm is kind of whatever. Regardless, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back.
All right, I return. Zephyr's bulletproof. She can't really do anything to Xmas units other than shooting at them. Sure. I mean, her shooting at them is quite good, but yeah. It's also like you take a different route whenever you go Zephyr. Like, I'd end up on, like, focusing mostly on my secondary and I'd have Mushroom. You got you got to consider that as I, I would have a pretty good secondary that I would be using. And then, of course, the Nataruk with Zephyr is pretty stupid. How do you equip a kit, run, kit gun as a primary? You have to build it as a primary, which I honestly would not suggest. Rose going to tap forge? No, no. That would have been really, really funny, though. And show build real quick. Yeah. All set. Service your weapons. My I wish we had a better aura. Blue detector is like not nothing, but if it was corrosive projection or energy siphon, I'd feel a lot better about it. Honestly, if I had steel charge, I probably would actually spend a forma to switch it to steel charge. Do you even get loot detector? Uh, loot detector. I just grabbed this. It was it was in circuit. I just I did like you know the the two rounds of circuit necessary in order to grab that. Do you even have an aura forma? You don't need to use aura forma to form your aura. Aura Forma makes it a universal polarity. But it makes me war very much so. Wait, what? Are you for real? Oh, yeah. Can you use regular form on your aura? Yeah. Here, watch. Yeah. It's the same with stance forma? Yeah. Yeah, aura just makes it so you can put any aura in there, and it's always correct. You'll be using Steel Charge on Kalervo as soon as it's practical, no need to switch? Yeah. That's true. I mean, I mean, yeah, to, to be totally reasonable, I mean, we did just, like, do, you know, solo Archon Hunt with this build, so... I think we're fine. And yeah, once we add Molt Augmented to this, it's going to get really funny. I think. Because that is part of the plan. Uh, and then it is worth noting, however, I should install this if we're going to do Angels of the Zarma. What's the melee build like? Uh, do you bother with crit when using Calirvo? Uh, I do because you don't always have energy for your one. And I don't have the ability to build like a lot of duration for my one right now. Uh, so including Sacrificial Steel, I would say, is still pretty required. You should still definitely do that. Uh, it's not like, you know, the end-all be-all. Like you don't absolutely must or anything like that. But it is a big suggested for sure. How much would it cost to get Sac Steel up to... Because right now the big thing is that like I'm at 34, I go to 81... I'm adding like what 48. 
So. Hmm. I'd, I'd be getting really consistent oranges, even whenever I'm not using Calervo's one. Um, with two more ranks on this. And with Calervo's one, it'd be, of course. You know, I think I could... Wait, does that break the threshold for triple exclamation? Or is it only double still? Hmm. Ever done a max strength build on Clairvo for maximum funny number? Yeah, I have. It, it is very funny. What's this unique trait thing? This. Melee attacks while blocking. Release a shockwave. It's not very good. It's just a useless thing that it has. I wish it had the ground blades that it does in Duviri. The ground blades might actually go pretty hard. Honestly, just take off Corrupt Charge, your Colervo. What are you talking about? This is like a huge part of the impetus for the entire build. Like, you guys have to understand that this weapon needs to be usable if I don't have energy. When I get CM, shit goes hard. Its heavy attack is dog shit. Its heavy attack doesn't proc slash whenever you're out of Duviri. Uh, and it is ass cheeks is the reason. Also, yeah, this is pretty clearly not a full investment build. This is regular pressure point and regular reach. <laughs> Also using Molten Impact and Shocking Touch. Like, please be aware. <laughs> What's Healing Blow for? More damage. And also wind up speed better. Yes, Yam is a very fun weapon. That's definitely true. I definitely agree with that. Thoughts on Degath. Just got her and one of your thoughts real quick. She's pretty good. I hope she gets a round of buffs. Because you know, she's just like kind of lacking in certain areas. Okay, I believe Siam doesn't proc slash. Yeah, it's the only Nakana that sucks. Every other Nakana has forced slash on it. Like, it's like, why not use the CM? And it's like, well, the story gives me the Skia if I don't want to farm a Duviria weapon for whatever reason. Like, like make no mistake, if I didn't have the Azathane, I'd be using the Skia. And it's like, way, way worse than the Azathane. But at least it proc slash on heavy. Point was, your 2 and 4 give you a ton of combo, so in theory you could save the mod slot. Yeah, no, nah, it's just not super realistic. <clears throat> Like, yes, my two and four give combo, but, like, uh, the the main over-under is that for the Azathane, if, like, this build under normal circumstances, if I'm out of energy, I just need to hit a guy. We'll just kill them. Like, I don't need to add anything to it. This will kill the vast majority of enemies I'm going to run across just straight on. And that becomes even more true if it's on viral with the dual stats, which is what I would change to. Um, or like not like obviously this is on radiation right now because the archons are weak to radiation, and they don't take much slash damage if any. Um, so of course we use radiation in order to be able to do a lot of damage to them. But usually, like I'll be on virulent scourge and the cold mod, uh, which is just literally the opposite of this, and then. You add even one viral proc to like the slash damage that you get out of this thing, and it's like, okay, what's surviving that? And the answer is not much. Yeah, fa father tokens come from father. He's hanging out there. He's over by grandma, who is his mom. You gotta give him stuff to you. you uh... Also, yeah, you can fast travel. If you pause and hit fast travel, you can fast travel straight to him. Yeah, the Azathane has just been, just been excellent for us.
That being said, I think we should uh, wrap things up for the day by uh, getting to the Zaramon and getting this whole thing started. no life aboard and yet all the system can hear it sing uh, what does it mean the Zeremen cries out and i must let you answer the pride of the golden makers now lies void ridden derelict so arm yourself child return to your lost home Reclaim your birthright. There's nothing left on that wreck but bad memories. But if I can keep it from hurting anyone else, I'll go. A time to head to the Zaramon. Find the song source. Do we have our shiny new Nataruk? Uh, Grenier. They heard the song too. Yeah. The song is crowding me out. You must find the source alone. And when I find it, then what? You will know. You are a child of the void. God can see any truth. There's a balance pass, a lot of these enemies. The Worm Queen wants the Zeremen for herself. I lost my family here. I'd sooner destroy it than see it in Grenier hands. Sweet and made horrors beyond my comprehension. Quinn, 
We hold fast are the last remaining crew of the Zeraman. You can't be. The, the crew all died. Mm -mm. The void creates. Death is merely a blank canvas. We numbered five not long ago. Poor Kira. The song broke down her resistance. She raised her voice in answer, and now she's one of them. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that thing I just saw? Was Kira, yes. That form is what awaits us, should we fail to hold fast. The others were all like us, once. But in time, they all drank from that bleak reliquary. And now they scream in chorus to the void. The Zeremon must be saved. Saved? It's a graveyard. The Zeremon has suffered, but she can still be a barricade against what is yet to come, if you stand with us. Help us keep her out of the hands of invaders like these... Grenier. When you are ready, come to the lower decks. A void cascade is already breaking down what you accept as... reality. All right. Listen, kid. I'm back here. Quinn means well, but there ain't no stop in this. We're hungry, just like Kira was. Only a matter of time. The sooner Quinn admits that to himself, the better. In we go. We restarted the damaged reliquary drive. They unleashed a cascade of void contamination. Void manifestations from beyond the membrane. We've come to know them as Thrax. They will attack and possess our exolizers, making the unit spread void contamination instead of cleansing it. Uh, contamination's messing with transference. Damn it. The void has taken this exolizer. It's making the contamination worse. You wield the void. Try to purge there we are, and that's how we do this. Bolt efficiency the right off the rip. Wow. Yet the void has seen something like them before. These have made manifestations nearer them, but different. They look older, bigger, like like ancestors, maybe. But but how? <clears throat> Marking a possessed exolizer. Deal with it while you still can. We all bear the trauma of what happened on the ship. But do you remember her promise? To build a new world without strife, violence, or poverty. We can talk about it sometime when I'm not fighting for my life. Okay? The loot sliders at the max. You're really not wrong. Remember that first harvest festival? Children laughing in the agrobiomes? I wait for what could have been. Yeah. I remember. The singing. Picking fruit under those warm lights. Hands what amp do you have? I'm using the Syrico. Purple lava berry juice. You really think things could have been different? I... Dr. Quinn? What's happening? <gasps> the contamination. <clears throat> it amplifies the song. We're running well, out Well, the time. threat is minimal right now, buddy. enemy has triggered the release of a possessed exolizer. Purge it before it pumps out even more void contamination. If you can kill the grenade close to the exolizer, it'll pull the void contamination right off of Are you for real? Cascadia Flare, for real. Right hand on the Bible? This motherfucker's cheating. God. 
Oh man. Why is your luck this good? I don't know what to tell you. Exilizer under assault. Exilizer is working for us now. How dare you? Doesn't slash nerf a long time ago. Um, it doesn't ignore shields anymore. Just like, depending on who you ask, it counts as a nerf. Cascade subsiding. I no longer detect new void manifestations. It is safe to stand down. Please. Return to the There's a shield gating on enemies too. Uh, yeah, but it's like a soft shield gate for enemies. Is that Lanthorn? Oh no, these are like the ammo things. I was like, I actually need some Lanthorn. Is that Lanthorn? Only on this stream are we getting this in the tutorial. <laughs> wow. All right, Quinn, what do you got for me? You must understand, the Zeremon is yours now. You inherited it, along with the duty to protect it. I'm not afraid of responsibility, but... This is where everything that could go wrong, went wrong. Once we're done here, I'm done here. Wait. Listen. Void flow. Get to floor Sigma D7. Archimedean Yanta will direct you from there. Oh, aren't you a fascinating anomaly? Anomalies. Oh, right. Explanations. When consciousness and void come together, it makes a thing. For example, me. Not nearly as fascinating as you, though. Yes, we covered conceptual embodiment in TA. Kira called them angels. But then what does that make us? We gestated in the belly of the Zeremon beast, same as them. Woke when we heard those words call us. Same as them, but we aren't like them, and I'll be damned if we don't go down fighting, right? The angels are tearing through the Albrecht membrane. Void is flooding in through the watches they've created. Are you fucking kidding me? I just got the parallax engines. automatic fighter class system is damaged and overwhelmed. Seems its designer, me, neglected to envision a situation like this. 
We need to resort to manual application. This account really is blessed. Okay, let's grab our Vitaplasts, these little blue blorbs. And then we need to deposit those into the terminal at A. By just simply being near it. Pretty easy to grab and pick these up, of course. Shall not fear to take the leap across the gulf to fare. The wall betwixt is dark and deep. A home awaits us there. Yeah. yeah we really thought we'd make it. Fill this up. Defeat the Thrax. This is about as bad as it could be. It's Kira. Come on back. They are. Heading straight for the reliquary drive. We won't be able to resist her song. She there we go. Knows us too well. You can hold out. I know you can. Interesting. They can be destroyed. Ship saved. Enemies overcome. Research notes updated. What more could an Archimedean want? Up we go. never understand people who just like blood. It's only like the parkour stuff, but I don't get that. Time for our debrief on Void Blood. We've lost too much time. Those idiotic Grenier are cracking the shield on the reliquary drive. The angels are heading there to feed. I'll stop the Grenier. And Kira, too. You're really going to try, huh? Okay. Cavalero can show you how to use the old deployable defenses. You'll need them. I won't. This can only in one of two ways. We die or we change. Promise me after we're gone, you'll take care of the Zeraman. I'll do right by the Zeraman, just like you did. I promise. All right, I have to. The elevator doesn't just start itself up. Keep doing that. can only wanted ceremonial weapons on the Zeraman. Something as important as the reliquary drive, they built in two little security guarantees. Auto-fabricating armaments and exodampers. Exodampers suppress enemy combat ability. We need to defend our exodampers and our reliquary with armaments. Got that? You'll notice this is we a big uh, to build finger. The armaments. I marked an Argosine drop on your radar. Hey, Yanta, how many of those big finger relics are out there, do you think? Well, fewer than there used to be. So long as the originals are still safely sealed away, of course. You're a natural. Now, I'm sure you want to 
go crazy building armaments all over, but you cannot do that. You need to use sockets. Go find the socket that appeals to you most. Your socket. Just slap whatever the in. That was meant for you. And build something dangerous in it. Oh, mercy me. I can believe you got the hang of this grubber. One more thing. Enemies coming through Aura Works are always helping themselves to our Argazine. So feel free to take it from their cold, dead hands. Protect Big Finger. Yeah, building the things is, like, fine. You can do it. Uh, but generally, it is relatively worthless. Compared to simply killing them all yourself. With good abilities. strength here, which I think is pretty exemplary of, uh, how this usually goes. Grab the Argazine, just get to go away. turret I built, which is one of the reasons why they're useless to build, because they have a timer. replaying well not well she's not replaying she is uh playing control and stumbled into the, the alan wake dlc apparently and is considering uh replaying alan wake one if she cannot uh get enough out of a synopsis for the game because it's been you know just a casual 10 years Yeah, this is pretty much what Void Armageddon is, though. It's just two defenses. Uh, it'll have you walk between them. Uh, the building stuff is, like, really, like, unimportant uh, and is generally ignorable. And, yeah. This is, this is unfortunately, I would say this is the bad update. Or not update. Uh, this is the bad game mode that was added in this update. Uh, but the rest of them are good. We have an angel have to fight. To you have to try. I see just how tough this angel is. Hello. Not very tough at all. Uh, now we can jump into this orb. And we can fight in here with our Sirico. He is dead. The real Kira. You don't take her out here. She'll heal. Ooh, 
we have taken her out here. Make sure to pick up the qu the uh, quill that she drops. That will come up later. Right on. And remember who we once were. We shall not fear to take the leap. Quinn? 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 Anybody? Damn it. Tenno, the song has quieted. I am no longer reading Void Distortion. What have you found on the Xeramen? Just ghosts. I think we all lost today. And up we go. This can send us right to Quinn. Quinn! You're still you! We changed. Oh. We drew power, but from a very different source. You have noticed it's not just the reliquary that can work miracles with the void, yes? I wonder, do you even know just how brightly you shine? You say that, but this place, I can't forget what it's put me through. Everyone through. So, remember, like we remember Kira. There was a place in this park where she used to love to sit. I think perhaps it would suit a memorial. Is Optical Vandal worth grinding? Absolutely not. And that's the Angels of the Zaramon completed. Uh, so, this, we're going to talk about what this unlocks because there's kind of a ton. Uh, this gives you the syndicate for this zone with those new game modes and a bunch of stuff to go alongside that. Um, but this place has so many good rewards that it's worth talking about pretty much all of them. Uh, first and foremost, let's stop oh, off at Cavalero. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not sure why I'm here at all, but I'll keep you alive. These used to be museum fodder, ceremonial and all that golden piss talk. But now, real weapons. Void touched. Not fashion accessories, not conversation pieces. They are for killing. We good. Cavalier is our resident weapons okay. dealer. Uh, in terms of what is here, we have the Latum, which is MR14, the Inadem, which is also MR14, the Fenmore, MR14, the Felarx, MR14, of course. Uh, and then in addition to that, we also have a ton of Arcanes. So just to quickly go over everything that's here, uh, the Latum is arguably the single best secondary in the entire game. It is absolutely phenomenal once it is fully evolved. Uh, the Inadem is one of the best melee weapons in the entire game. It is absolutely excellent. It has gigantic range and is very good for heavy attacking. Uh, and then, of course, the Fenmore. This is one of the best primaries in the entire game. It is extremely strong. It is very good at single target damage, and it has a unique build that is not hard to put together. Uh, the Felarx, up until recently, was kind of the thing for killing Archons. Uh, it's still pretty good. Uh, it's still up there. I wouldn't say it's as strong as the Fenmore anymore, though, because its use case is kind of a bit uh, taken down. Uh, then we have the Prados. These are a stat stick that'll just make you faster by holding them. And they're also okay heavy attack weapons, so they're not too bad. Um, and then in terms of the Arcanes, there's a few things that are really worth noting, uh, which is Eternal Eradicate. This is one of the meta Arcanes for amps, so you want to get this for uh, increasing your amp damage on your operator. It is the best alongside uh, Eternal Onslaught. Onslaught and Eradicate are the two Arcanes you want for your Operator. This is 180% critical chance when your energy is depleted, which turns out you can deplete your own energy by spending it. Uh, so you can just have that 180% crit chance on demand. And then this damages, you know, you, you use these at the same time and you get a ton of benefit for it. Uh, otherwise from here, uh, Mold Vigor is pretty good. Uh, this is 45% ability strength on next Warframe ability cast. It's not as good as another one we're going to talk about, but it is a one that is worth getting. 
um cascadia flare uh, this is a fantastic secondary arcane uh, of course you're going to need to be using heat on your weapon in order to build it up uh, but it is a absolute ton of damage to be adding to your weapon 480 percent damage is nothing to sneeze at uh, and then we have molt efficiency this is just okay but it is a notable source of duration if you can keep your shields up for long periods of time uh, and then other than that uh, molt reconstruct this is just like if you get a single copy of this um you're going to just get a bunch of like just passive healing from just spending energy uh which is pretty good for a number of different warframes just like even one copy goes a pretty long way um because you heal just energy or health equal to the energy you spend even with just the one copy which is quite nice uh and then other than that um we have emergence dissipate which is okay at generating energy it's not too bad it, this has been nerfed very significantly from what it once was uh, and then the most important augment here molt augmented or the most important arcane here molt augmented um which basically when you get 250 kills in a mission you then have 60 percent power strength uh, and you're building that up over the course of each of those kills whenever you start each new mission 60 percent power strength that's pretty much on demand that you don't need to do anything to keep up is extremely extremely strong uh, and honestly even at lower ranks it's pretty significant you don't need a whole lot of these for it to make a huge difference even a half ranked one is like a free 30 percent strength which goes a long way uh because that's like a whole intensify but yeah so this is uh this is extremely extremely good and would definitely suggest getting a full set of multi augmented that is one of the the main huge rewards from here obviously it requires a fairly high rank but there's tons and tons of good stuff uh here even if we're just talking about cavalero uh, other shops and such uh you were gonna have yanta before you ask no we can't move the ship something i wasn't sure existed has burst through the albrecht membrane and right now the zaraman is plugging that hole pop her out and we'd see void storms from here to mercury which would be fascinating if memorably horrible anyway feel free to bring me anything you think i might be interested in that's all okay so for yanta uh, she has Archimedean supplies, which are very limited. You can get some, some few decorations and some Kuva here. These are not very important. The main thing is that she's the one that you're going to uh, exchange for Holdfast Standing. You're going to turn in your stuff in order to get your rep. Um, she's the one you do that at. And then otherwise, like, you know, she she runs the Varuna shop, which is a material you get from the moon. Uh, and you can also do some conversions by, like, you know, using some of your plasm and void gel. You can get, like, pinions and stuff like this. This stuff is really not needed unless you just really don't want to go and get um these different things but these are very easy to farm so i wouldn't suggest usually using that shop but it is there if you need it moving on no hey welcome if we'd ever made it to tau i was gonna be in charge of the homesteading getting everyone kitted out for their new start you know well, <laughs> you remember how that went. Shoot for the moon, <laughs> land in a bucket of piss. So, in memory of the woman I was back when I was alive, I'm helping folks set up their homes here now. Okay, so for this, she sells a bunch of cosmetics. Uh, it's all cosmetic stuff. So if you uh, want it, well, that's entirely just, you, you know, if you want it based some, you know, certain little scenes for capture and all that, some materials, if you're using any void shells and all that, um, you know, you just cosmetic stuff over here at Hombast. And then finally, if we head back to Quinn. Everyone's pulling together. Quinn is in charge Everyone's of our bounties. Around. This place, the chrysalith, was meant to be a sanctuary. Now it's a war room. We're fending off Grenier Raiders, Corpus Salvage Hunters, and of course, the Void Angels. Taking our home back is going to be a long, hard fight. I mean to make use of your exceptional talents wherever I can. Come and see me whenever you're ready for a bounty assignment. So Quinn is our Kanzu of this area. So the whole fast standing, you can see what it takes to rank up from here. Work. Uh, generally speaking, it's not much in, from rank up to rank up. It's actually very like reasonable, I think. Um, but you will need to get your uh, different void plumes of different qualities as you rank up. And those have specific you know ways in order to get those, which is recovered in a different video, honestly. Um, but the big thing to note is that this is the bounties. So uh, there are... There's a particular bounty that you want to look for that is going to be 
the best bounty uh, in terms of farming a ton of rep. And this, these are the five missions that are available here. This is Avoid Armageddon, Cascade, Defense, Avoid Flood, and Exterminate. So, as long as you can handle it, what you want is you want Exterminate on either the Tier 4 or the Tier 5 uh, mission. And then the sub-objective that you want, as you can see, this is Use 12 Exolizers right now. And on this mission, it's Complete the Mission in Under 6 Minutes. The one that you want as your sub-objective is to kill a single Void Angel uh, on your Exterminate mission. Those missions are going to be extremely fast. They can be completed in like about two or three minutes if you are really, really going for it. Uh, but just in general, they give you a ton of the, uh, the void plumes for turning in and getting a ton of reps. So that is a thing to watch out for, for uh, no matter what you're farming here. Yeah, those cycle uh, every couple hours or so. And yeah, just in general, it's a good zone with extremely good rewards. I like the tile set. Good stuff. Yeah, I will almost certainly be like max ranking this in order to get a bunch of the rewards uh also stuff like molt augmented is like quite valuable and just like getting a bunch of the rep whenever there's a good bounty up uh can mean you can turn that in over the course of like basically a full month um and just slowly build up a set of molt augmented to then sell and make a whole lot of platinum for whatever you happen to want to buy uh and of course like the other arcanes as well are are in on that too uh but yeah zarmon very very good <clears throat> all right you're not ready to fight just keep walking also get a face for your sentinels here that's true the Zerman is holding steady so here's the question do i just want to do some cascade plenty need seeing too. how much time until these bounties the rotate straddling the rift all possible two hours career. shit well i definitely won't be seeing what these rotate into pick your fights carefully but all available notes and waiting for necromech for new war anything i should probably grind for two days um i mean there's a lot of stuff you can if you're missing like corrupted mods i'd probably suggest those we stand or fall together. Was the optimal sub bounty tier five exterminate kill avoid angel? We need all the hands we can get. Ready to deploy you wherever you can do the most good. Man, never Matterai, huh? This one has Matterai on it, but it's mobile defense, which is not exactly horrible. 2000 Endo wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, I'll probably just like roll this and like Roger look that. for some of the plumes Please and things because I do need them. This ship is now a fortress on the threshold. Man, I really heard him say this shit. This shit is now a fortress. All right, before before we roll this, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Be right back.
I return. And it blinks as an alt fire? Yeah, that's like the whole thing. All right. Let's just like patch into this and just see what's what. It's just a mobile defense. I'm curious if we can get a group for it. I don't think it's like hard at all, like kind of no matter what. But I am curious if like we get a group for this. Cause like it's the mobile defense, right? Keeping our home in order means having control of the ship's systems. Right now, we don't have that. You're gonna have to go in with a data mask and manually bring consoles back online. Oh man, I've actually like here I should search. Uh was that the other end of this hall usually? I'm forgetting where all like the little pockets where I usually would find uh, the plumes and stuff are. Like most hallway ends would have like the spots. Like I know this room can have it. It's been so long since I've had to do it. Because I've been maxed for so long. You usually just farm like the uh, the big ones whenever you're max. Don't need that. Here. What is it that can be up there? Terminal in sight. You know what to do. It's been so long. Shade. Yeah, I just was leveling him. Okay. And I just haven't switched. What sentinel I bring doesn't really particularly matter. Please don't do that. We're fine. I hope. Job done. We're fine. I have all the functionality. I'm just doing a little pulse every once in a while. It's fine. We can we can work with that bug. Here's one. Oh, never mind. Makes the same exact glow as the actual plumes whenever they're down, so we'll follow. Okay, let us one of the plumes. Bunch it down to start. so long. There's a terminal. Hopefully the angel's just here. Okay. Scrubbing the system. Uh 
God fucking damn it. <clears throat> well, that's what I get for looking around for a moment. Fucking immediately the Thrax just runs up and starts beating the shit out of it. I forgot they did so much goddamn damage. to deploy you wherever you can do the most good strike right. hard no quarter first mission fail on the account um no we had one other one i forgot about not having any extra lives on the um the archon hunt threats to a billion t damage and have a million t overguard they're obnoxious yeah oh really? Yeah, don't do the PvP event. That shit sucks. That's not worth it. Nothing could be worth that. They'd have to offer me like three legendary cores for me to even consider it. Nearly done. Keep defending, please. would be fine if it wasn't for 30 goddamn minutes of spamming left click and bullet jump. If it wasn't for the gameplay? Sure. The PvP would be fun if it wasn't for the gameplay. I tend to agree, actually. Doing cosmetics and to rank up. Come on, ranking up the PvP. Do we actually care? Nearly done. Keep defending, please. wasn't pvp be way better it's facts i can do nothing but agree you're just right if it's five legendary cores at that point i guess i'll suffer through best be ready this system's back online find us another oh you don't want the sandana the sandana is a fucking part-time job well somebody found the angel a lanthorn. Need one more of those. The angel is trying to retreat into the void so it can heal. Follow it and stop. Is PvP the not? Yeah, there is. You can't hurt it while those dimensional orbs are around. 
Use your void body to absorb them. The enemy did not enjoy this. Opinion for us, tons of rep. What's a vein? Okay. okay. Scrubbing the system. I'll need those. It's just a box up there. The best way to grind rep and conclave would be to somehow just take over a match over voice chat. Just boost your kills. Yeah, unfortunately that's bannable. People, you, people used to just like switch to the Oceana server, um, and then just like win trade essentially in order to be like yeah i maxed my rep k we can move on and yada yada and so on and so forth uh but then like the four people that played any conclave pride until that was bannable so now we don't do that i didn't do it because i was already max rep and i could not possibly give a fuck about getting the rest of that shit but i do kind of wish i had boosted whenever it was not bannable because then I would have absolutely no reason to do it, even for dumb completionist reasons. Wait, what's bannable? Like, just like basically rigging a lobby and like just win trading. Old fashioned elbow grease and a bit of brute force can work miracles. Sector's ours. Well done. Ooh, I can, I can think of a way that DE can make PVP good, okay? Now you guys hear me out. Okay, you're gonna have, you're, now you're gonna have to hear me out. Okay, I know it sounds crazy, but you gotta you gotta hear me out. They could make it so that like for every match of Apex Legends you play, you <laughs> do I need to proceed? <laughs> it's a good idea, right? <laughs> that guy's dead. Oh no, that's a animal. Yes, but then you'd have to play Apex. Apex is pretty good last time I played it, so... If he should be Grenier, Corpus infested Starcraft style. I I feel like that I can that's not even a Kappa. That's like a fucking classic troll face post. I can feel it. You didn't include one for some reason, but I can feel it. Kind does this even need for the rank up? Down. It needs the least rare kind of which I have not picked up yet. Amazing. Till you next return. Parvos Granum wants this ship for himself. Go and visit hell upon them. I 
I probably should just do X term, really, actually, though, right? Eh, we'll do one more of these. Cries and no golden instinct. Yeah, you know. Okay, scrubbing the system. actually playing the pvp event i mean you know some people just see reward and go get and you know it doesn't matter how much how much suffering they got to do to get it okay the ping is at a certain level currently Job done. On to the next. catalyst was the reward today and i did that shit Man, even on the free to play, hey guys, tragedy. Even on the free to play through, I got I got enough of them. I might, you know what I mean? Like I might. Like, I just started. I got like extra. I'm chilling. Oh, there's the angel. Got to do that in a moment. Oh, what the hell? What in the fuck? Okay, scrubbing the system. That thing starts moving, and it will. You'd better know what to do. The angel is trying to retreat into the void so it can heal. Follow it and stop it. Nearly done. Keep defending, please. Dimensional orbs around. Use your void body to absorb. Systems clean. Great work. Where'd you go? Keep moving. That's so close. Yep. Really funny, there's a saw sculpture. And look a key. Nearly done. Keep defending, please. There you go. A little progress each day adds up to secret. What arcane dropped? Oh, no. Nothing went wrong. You 
just brought an entire sector back to functionality. I'm proud of you. Take a well-earned break. I foresee an appearance on the captain's list of distinguished Another Malachi team. Cascadia Flare again. I got two copies of that shit now. All right. Fucking shit. Can't argue with that. Do you even need to win the PvP match for it to count towards the alert completion? No. In fact, actually, you are heavily incentivized to simply just... Wow, the Alternox. Okay, sure. Uh, to simply just, like, not. Like, to actively feed is what you're encouraged to do. To make it go by faster. So I got zero of the most common ones. How has this happened to me? Everyone pulling together. Buy stuff. If the Archimedean. Alright, I'm just gonna go do regular, like, solo X term to make sure I can grab like a full set of these things, because I don't need that many. you would have to pay me real money to do conclave yeah i do actually firmly believe that if there were platinum rewards people would play it Greedy, plundering like no matter how bad it is people be like yeah i'm just aboard without permission just trying to get my 20 platinum this week man you know what i mean <laughs> like people would be like very begrudged do i think that would be good no i would probably make a community that's just like ready to be miserable but uh you could you could make people do it vein okay the down are the most common ones right am i crazy yeah they are okay all right i'm making sure i'm not like just fucking insane over here like thinking that I'm, i need the rare one but i'm just i'm just getting the ones that are the higher value ones you know, this is the problem on this account. <laughs> is I can't get anything common. <laughs> Getting common things is the issue. And is, is this not the problem everyone has? Not balance Warframe for PvP. Well, and still have it be Warframe anyway. Okay, there's one. There we go. It's one of the commons. That's what we were looking for. go small child but a conclusion for the first time and wealth I hate it just boring sounds right You know, they, they've tried a lot of times at Conclave, and, like, 
the best time to give up was last time and the next best give up the, the next best time to give up is now you know what i'm saying like no one's gonna blame them for giving up we want that those rewards that are kind of cool could go somewhere else Three PvP enjoyers will be sad. Yeah. Like, I don't know. All I'm saying is, like, they removed raids, and raids had a higher player base than, um, than PvP. And probably still, like, if it was still in the game, still would. So, like, why Conclave is still here, I don't get it. Like, you removed raids and moved their rewards somewhere else. Like, why, why does Conclave still exist? The raids have a low player base. Yeah. Like, people didn't know they existed in large part. Um, so there weren't a lot of people playing them. There was enough of a dedicated community that whenever things would break, um, it would get noticed. It was just big enough that they would have to fix things. For Conclave, that's not a problem. If things are broken, then there's no one to notice. Uh, so, you know. Takes significantly less effort to ignore Conclave than to constantly fix the raids. Sure. But if you were to remove Conclave, then we wouldn't have people constantly asking uh, for, like, for whatever reason, more PvP shit. Actually, it probably would get worse. Actually, the Conclave in the game, like, known quantity horrible, actually maybe disincentivizes people from constantly fucking shitposting about how much they want PvP in Warframe. even though it has never, ever worked. I forgot how to get in here. Do you just have to shoot the door in this case? Oh. I did not remember that at all. searched it's kind of odd the first rank of this might be the worst one because you just need the common ones you just kind of have to do like big full sweeps there's a crest i will end up needing those eventually i have a single one of the commons still Jesus.
Help us with some boxes. Just another box. There's one of the Melika keys, and we also have our angel. Was a dormant void angel. Now it's not dormant anymore. The angel is trying to retreat into the void so it can heal. Follow it and stop it. Dimensional orbs are out. Use your void body to absorb yes. it won't be shrunk. Oh, I'm out of energy. And this is exactly why the Azathine is built how it's built. Not many enemies like Kalervo, huh? Oh, I got, I got another molt efficiency. Holy shit. We love to see it. Right, where is Malika creeping around at? Really? None back here? Unfortunate. Tiny child has the hops. Or what I miss, tiny child. They're just like over here, or like up in the hand. That's where I just ran. This is going to be embarrassing. Here we go. Hey, wait a minute. This is right where I just was. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you bitch. Okay, note to self, they count some accords, so scan those in the future, I guess. I found that, I just didn't want that, I don't care. <laughs> well, there's Malika. I must consider in my long career, I've had the good fortune to teach many talented students. He 
has to put effort to make skill sets for every frame that comes out. Please don't do that. I would rather they do literally anything else. I cannot think of like a thing DE could work on for PvP that would be worth it. Like, think about, like, the scale of success they would even need um, in order for it to have been worth it to make. Like, they would basically need to be, like, literally guaranteeing that they're making a game that is, like, fucking Apex Legends or, like, PUBG-type level in terms of how much people want to play it. Not in terms of it just being that fucking game, but again, by the way. In order for it to even conceivably ever be worthwhile to develop for them, right? Which, like, you just can't guarantee. So, like, why would you not instead keep doing, like, interesting things with, like, the large player base that's already there, right? I play Warframe to specifically not play PvP. Yeah, I get that. For me, it's just like, I don't think it's like outrageous for like a team to, you know, try and add a PvP thing to a PvE thing. But DE has tried too many times for it to be like anything to be worth trying anymore, right? If I open this door, I don't remember. I see any plumes in there anyway. There we go. We opened it. The panel on the back side. Is there another way in here? There is, right? Oh, okay. It was just a hallway that I missed. before runs me all the way back to the summer cord. No. 
Come on. It's got to be in this room, right? Ghost Gear under you. We did go over that, yeah. Bro, for real? Hold on. Hey, do the thing where you turn around because I collected it. No? Okay, cool. Amazing. Yep, I didn't learn my lesson the first time. Didn't learn my lesson the first time. Okay, I've got it scanned now. Take me somewhere else. Led me to two of them, which were right next to each other. Okay, that was definitely worth it. All right, we're done now. That is eight of eight. I need I need one more of the down, and then we are done with the tier one. Which honestly, hilariously, is like the most unfocused of the tier. Well, I guess I guess crest is, but crest you're done once you just find the crest in the mission. So it's kind of a weird, it's like a weirder thing. Can Clairvo 4 break containers? It cannot. That is one of the things Clairvo does not do, unfortunately. <clears throat> you know, needing to make sure I kill all the enemies is actually probably worse than just... Doing the mobile defense? Considering how long that one took. I only need to find one down. Housekeeping time. There's whole sectors of the Zeramen whose systems rotted ever since the jump. I've prepped you a data mask that'll bring them back under our control. But you'll need to pop it in at the right nodes and keep the system safe while it purges. Here's the last one of those that I needed. Now, I will want to try and find the crest on this mission, though. <clears throat> Just because that's going to make my life about a trillion percent easier. running the Saruman or the Zaramon on Steel Path uh, on Cascade it is going to pick up no oh. I hope this leads me directly to the crest. That would be extremely convenient. Probably leading me to this over here. No. The Melica terminal. Hopefully not leading me to the Melica terminal. the Melica key, which I guess I'll get on the way back. Where are we going? This tiny child's having me run a 5k.
I mean, hey, that's the crest, so it's. I mean, can't fucking. I mean, you can't argue with results. Results are results. Oh shit, right, I can't carry both. Um you're coming with me. Student, your assignment is over to don't think your academic achievements are being noticed. Angel, am I blind? I am blind. That's a void angel in the making. Best be ready. Yeah, small child fucking figured it out. Said, hey, come with me. The angel's trying to retreat into the void so it can heal. Follow Not allowed to bring the mobile defense thing into the void, and no did. Because they lead you to avoid angels. They don't lead you to avoid angels. That one led me to the crest I was looking for. Break it down, body and soul. <clears throat> There's more conclave stuff available for skill essence. Sure, it sounds great to me. I mean, so hilariously, it's kind of unfortunate that we're like just done here. I don't have anything else. There's nothing else that's like worth like, you know, grabbing and just like running around and picking up. So here we go. Terminal inserted. And Welcome. We're just farming some Zaramon. And it feels really strange that I'm already caught up on like the free to play quest stuff. Theorem. Find us another. Probably some other things would be better to focus on, but I could. Defending, please. 
bunch of defender X's apparently. Job done. On to the next. It's a weird place for this terminal, right? My rep cap or focus cap for the day? Nearly done. Keep defending, please. I might be. I think I actually am. <laughs> focus you get from this farm really is uh, extremely good as well. F? What's F? There's no F. I pause. That was odd. But you guys are like cavalcating about PvP, which I don't understand. Like, how are we still talking about it? Conclave is torture? Well, sure, yeah. People are defending PvP saying it should be left in? Yeah, people are wrong all the time. It's the internet. Oops. Gotta go turn to Deonta. Charted casualties piled up in the Heilbronn margin. Wrong one. Singularity Change. refusing to play with any of them. Just be oh, one pinion, right? These are five Ks. Yeah. Oop. There we go. Do that. Take this. I'm yes. gonna go rank up. Goodbye for now. Let all the systems see that the Zeremy void cascades on multiple decks. We've got our work cut. Let's go forward in mutual trust. Rank. No point in saving this stuff for Tau. Oh, uh, let's see here. Probably just eradicate. Although this is this is like a very reasonable choice also. But I do really actually want eradicates. They didn't go quietly, did they? They all knew a big jump was coming. Not a safe, controlled sequence of bursts, but a single, mad leap. So the people found a thousand ways to say no. And I denounced them as filthy traitors. You had no choice. Eternalism dictates that we always have choices. They believed me, and now they're dead. Let's
Let's go forward in mutual trust. Just need five more veins. So I have half of what I already need. Which is not too bad. I have everything else done and dusted. Hilarious that alloy plate I've kind of been running low on. Like, I always have enough, but only just. Travel well. What's the exterminate that's on right now? It's like a really low level one, right? Are her defenders. Pick your fights. Clear skies and steady rails, do you? Please remember that your presence is enough to revive. Still better than nothing. Get it done. I get a squad for it, and I can just search. Here actually might be worth building a partial set before hard farming or for augmented. There's a lot of players won't ever hit 250 enemy requirement for the full 60% strength. What are you talking about? In the missions where it's going to matter, it's really easy to hit 250 enemies killed. Hello. I look a key acquired. Hello, Melika. There's your key for you. That's. There you are. I'll grab this from you. Thank you. There's a quill. <laughs> Just in and out, five minute adventure. <laughs> There's the other lanthorn that I needed. But I can build the shard segment. 5,000 focus earned. Apparently, I wasn't as cap. Oh, I was not at cap for the day. Uh, there's a vein. Awesome. Somebody found one of those. I love to see it. We found another vein. Okay, love to see it. Actually, should we remove rep cap? So I'm actually of an interesting. I I feel like this isn't a, a hot take, but I feel like some people might think it is, which is that I think rep caps are initially good because they make it so you don't just play through all of the content in one day and burn yourself out and then not want to play Warframe for like a year, right? But I think for older farms, like, as farms age, the rep cap should, like, at least become a weekly cap. You know what I mean? Because you want to have those protections because, like, you don't want people to just, like, oh, hey, the new event came out or the new thing came out and, like, I did the entire grind in, you know... A fucking one 24-hour stream, and now I never want to play Warframe again for the next year until the next thing comes out, and only then, maybe. It's like, well, that that's not good. Clearly. Older content reps a bit becoming easier for newer players to catch up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, really, I really think caps being, like, loosened to be weekly instead of daily. Uh, for older stuff like Planes of Eidolon and uh, Fortuna and such, would I think that would really be good. Was I forget, is it guaranteed two veins per mission, or is it three to four? I forget if it's a slightly random or, or not. Uncapped planes, Cetus, and Deimos immediately. I, I wouldn't... Uh, totally uncapping, I think, wouldn't be great. But at the point where you're looking at, like, a weekly cap, I think that that gives you, like, a really nice flexibility. How much per week ballpark? We'll just take the seven days that you would normally get and then just combine them all into one. Focus cap has to go. 
Uh, no, that too, I think, is fine. The, fo the focus cap has been loosened to the point where, like, I think it's totally fine. Because it, it's not, like, it's an amount where it's good to hit the cap. And I feel like if it allowed you, because Katie Empowered is not actually bad. Um, I feel like if they, like, gave you infinite cap on focus, people would burn themselves out farming it. You know what I mean? There, there's certain caps for like farms that like are intended to be you know over a longer period of time that you kind of need to keep in place because otherwise people will just like kill themselves on the farm and that's obviously not what you want now now buffing some of the other trees in focus now that i just fully agree with Place Hydro is the worst frame. Limbo. It's still the case that I let Hunt shards go beyond the focus cap. That is the case. Yeah, instead of changing anything about the focus cap, I would instead want them to make it so that Eidolons are uh, easier to get into. By Limbo and not Valkyr. Have you have you played them both? This feels like a very obvious answer. Kid, when someone also we have the Void Shell suit now. The part nobody talks about is that you have to choose how you're going to remember them. There were people on this ship who loved you. You're never going to forget what happened here. But you owe it to them, and yourself, to remember all the other days, too. But the Zarmon and Deimos rep grinds go against the thought that people will burn themselves out given the opportunity. When you're ready, I think that so the Deimos and Zarmon grinds are actually kind of interesting because, like, they encourage you just to keep logging in a bunch. But, like, once you, you can't just, like, get through it regardless. So it's, it's kind of a weird halfway point between just fully unlimited farming in like fully limited farming because i feel like people don't have the incentive with deimos and zaramon to be like oh i'll just farm it all in one day it's like well i could farm extra for the next couple days and then i just log on and turn it in or whatever right um but i, I feel like people aren't like oh i'll just finish the farm today right like it, it's kind of a, a weird uh, midpoint and it's also like what they've more recently done which you know is kind of naturally more experimental Like the flexibility of pre-farming rep made me feel far more comfortable playing that content in general. I would agree. Yeah, like the Deimos and Zaramon working that way, I think, is of huge benefit personally. How many more do I need? I need what? Three more? Roger that. We should be doing more to yeah, recognize your work. Hello. We've got a dog that wants to visit. Hi. He was tangled. Big yawn dog. Tenex overguard with four applies to mobile defense and excavation targets. I don't think so. So 
voting for expedition to Y Caliban is better than Limbo. What? I mean, Caliban is fine at like killing some guys. Limbo is just like super inconvenient for everyone involved. And he just like gets things done slowly. He doesn't even open boxes the best anymore, which was his main thing before. Like, Caliban's right down there with him. Like, also a shit frame. But, like, come on. Like, we're comparing the size of turds here. Like, Caliban is a little more survivable. And he has an armor strip, I guess. Yeah, coughing baby versus coughing baby. Really true. One sec. turn. That was Sarah calling me going, do you know where Finn is? And I do. <laughs> Opinion on Lavos with the new game mode in mind? We don't know what the, the new game mode is other than like what it's called essentially. Look, like Loki's a worse frame than Limbo. No, invisibility's really good. Now found the dog. Found him. Good dog. Limbo has no use but to be in the way. Yeah, I mean, like, usually whenever people are like, hey, let's defend Limbo, the thing they go to is, like, on Grenier Interception, you can hit four and then two, and then you then the mission does itself, and it's like, okay. okay. I guess. And it's like, how many Warframes completely trivialize mobile defense or interception? It's like a ton of them. And Limbo doesn't even trivialize interception because the maps are too big for his four. Limbo's not even breaking index, because that's Korra's job. Korra's infinitely better at that. What does Korra do in the index? You press four, and then you also kill all the enemies in one hit with your one. And she gets vacuum because, well, she gets fetch because she has her cat still. Four is super cracked at index. I'm a complete newbie, but my buddy who was a veteran gave me his Volbon Prime bits. Nice. I do not think Volbon is very good. But those are vaulted, so they're kind of hard to get. Is Mesa Prime and the Exodia Contagion still able to attack from inside the Limbo Bubble? Because that was a nice use. Uh, I remember Scarlet Spear 2 seasons. Yeah, yeah, I think that Contagion doesn't work anymore, but Mesa still does because that's intended. Or before this small dog falls asleep in my lap, I gotta let him down. I know. 
he he just tilted his head like, no, please. This dog just wants me to have like the biggest, comfiest chair in here. He can just be in here. But there's no room. Put the computer chair. Puppy puppy. Look at this log. Look at this log dog. I guess you can't see me blends in with my shirt. <laughs> and the microphone besides. Off he goes. Let's take beer back. Go forward in mutual trust. Yeah, so I want to grab these veins so that I will be able to um, just get a couple one of ranks going in here. And one for the ship. While we sit here straddling the rift, all possibilities are real. Excellent. I think the plan is I'm gonna get all the um, the veins I need. Damn, this was a fucking populated damn. I'm gonna get all the veins that I need and then I think I'm gonna call it for the night. Guaranteed crest, two guaranteed veins, seventy five percent down, twenty five percent vein for the other five. Okay. <clears throat> There's a second vein. Already, we're off to a fantastic start. as well. Hopefully that's where I'm being led to with this. Melica around. Sure where her terminal is there, that's where it will be. Always the Soma Court. It would be really nice to have the Parallax. I think it's unironically pretty worth farming. Why? 
Uh, it has the, like, big, like, pulse radar that marks all of the important pickups on the map. Which is pretty damn good, actually. Because it'll mark, like, Ayatan statues. It'll mark the vault and corrupted mod farming. It marks all of, like, the void plumes. It marks all of the, um, the syndicate medallions. Like, it's... It's pretty fucking good. Like it's it's worth it. It works faults. Yeah, no, it's 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 a good ability. Is it better than Golden Instinct? Yeah, yeah, because it just it just pulses and hits all of them. It doesn't just like slowly lead you to one. It just does all of them. Can mark this one down as a net <clears throat> Aroka and I found me like seven Iotans this week. Yeah. You did good. yeah. It's 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 super worth actually. I gotta figure out, like... Because, like, the, the type of crate that it can come from here is... I don't, I don't think it's every possible location. Pretty sure it's, like, a more limited subset. Hey, there's that other vein that I needed. <laughs> Still need a crest, but... Buddy, here we go. Acquiring 150 meters for Rokan Eye. Is it only 150? I thought it was like 250. But even still, 150 is pretty damn good. When that thing starts moving, these guys just aren't even gonna fight the angel. I'm so confused. It's like the whole point of doing this mission. Okay, good. They reconsidered. Yeah, Yureli, as act Yureli gets shit on way, way more than she deserves. I don't think that she is, like, an A-plus Warframe or some dumb shit like that. But, like, pe people shit on Yureli, like, way, way too much. Did this mo Ugh. These Force Extraction motherfuckers. Is your free to play? Yeah. Man, if any fucking place needs the, yeah, you can leave, just leave us here. It's this fucking Zaramon. Oh, I might as well just solo it, I guess. I think it's actually just broken. Everyone has they just have to use it. If the host does it though, then everyone just leaves, don't they? Oh no, it's everyone gets uh migrated is what it is. Yeah, we're just hard locked. Amazing, incredible. Fucking sucks. It starts a timer. Yeah. seen that is that common no it's because i was transitioning areas whenever someone fucking left because people have no idea what the fuck they're doing on the zaramon your client crashed well yeah because of what the other person was doing like people just don't understand like the reason to even play the mission <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, get the standing from the mission. Get the rewards. No. I'll get the fucking shitty reward from the actual bounty itself. That's what I'm here for. Hey, people, people just don't know what this Aramon's for. And of course, that makes it so that I did not get any of those veins that were nice to get. Let's go right? forward and meet. Yep, naturally. Fuck my life. Trust you get it done. Love pubs. It's great. Like, you legitimately shouldn't be able to extract if people are fighting the angel. Like, that should, un unironically, that needs to be, like, rules of the mission. It is the whole thing. It's the angels of the Zaramon. It's the entire point. Hey, somebody found the crest right away. That's good. Is this the second Melica? Isn't there one back here? No, 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 no. This is the Melica that was on my map. Builder panel extract just you or everyone. I'm scared to use it. It should just be just you, but if you're the host, it really sucks if you use it. Take damage. Hmm. Oh, operator door possible. even go just this weird I don't think I've ever seen that take damage before very mysterious one two You can't just walk in here, though, can you? On the side, there wasn't a hole over here last time I checked. Side there's, oh, there's not a hole here. I think you're thinking of a different one. <clears throat> it might be from below. Go 
jumped off a box crouch in a hole. That works. Yeah, you can get in here, but... What? It's an exterminate. What? What ha- What? What? It's an exterminate. What did they do? Oh, is it right? It has the fucking timer thing. Oh my fucking god. I forgot about the fucking condition. All right. I'm just going to go do just a fucking normal ass exterminate without pubs. Just going to fucking solo it. No more problems, please, for the love of fucking God. Let's do the flip side of the streamer look. No, for real. Fucking unironically. These corpus ain't here to trade. They're looking to steal from us. Give them hell. Melica key. This is new account for the series. Yeah. Yeah, there's no point in doing it if I have my account that has everything. Well, there's a vein. That's what we need. There's nothing that can fuck this mission up now. Oh no! no. You are learning your lessons so well. Gonna be slower because of the lower spawn rates and stuff, but at least nothing bad can happen. What the fuck is happening? What do you mean? Can happen to my box breaker to show up gold instinct and a broken eye? No, I'm chill. I just reset this. Here we go. <clears throat> when I started Vinny, Original Sin 1 and Fires just flew by. The local split screen is so good. Yeah. Uh, Original Sin 1 is actually one that I, I never actually played all the way through that game. I started on Divinity Original Sin 2, and it's so good. I think a lot of the reason, though, is because, like, I started playing Divinity Original Sin 2 first, and then tried to go back to 1, and I was like, hmm, there's so many updates that they made that were so good. It was one of those types of things where it's like, can't go back. Too many quality of life improvements, right? They filled this all the way up.
this many void stones in here. No. <clears throat> Holy shit, guys. I'm about to ban the word Limbo and Caliban from this chat. Please stop talking about the bad Warframes. It's fine. It does not matter which one is worse. It is like almost entirely irrelevant. The fact is they both fucking suck. Design, what about the engagement? I mean, it's great and all, but usually this chat is like worth, you know, engaging with questions and shit, but you guys are just shitposting at each other about how shitty Caliban or Limbo are. And it's the, the whole argument is just, they're both awful. That's it. That's the end state. That's the end state. They're both terrible. You're arguing about nothing. It's just the same thing we already know, again. Anyway, here's my 5,000 word essay about why your favorite frame sucks. Yeah. If you want to play a shit Warframe like Limbo, I encourage you to do so. Frost, even though he's bad. Frost got a really significant buff. He's fine. Granted, he absolutely needs his augment to survive, but that's not exactly uncommon at this point. actually in this box. I was like, what the hell? What did I miss? What's the angel here? It is not, unfortunate. The Melika key. With Melika right below it. Love to see it when that happens. I want to find one more vein, and then we can just focus on finishing the mission up. This is fun. For the odds, Prime cells as well as Wisp and Nidus. Uh, so the tough part about that is that it's January. January is financially tough for people, usually. Because of that, it seems like it's going to be a, quite a challenge, but that will make it much more impressive if they're like, this is the best-selling PA ever. I will say that. Like, if it sets records in January, that's very impressive. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. I was like, I just want a huge group of enemies so I can, like, finish up, like, how many enemies I need. And it was like, here you go. Here's everybody. Here's every man to ever exist. And I'm like, oh, fantastic. There's the other vein I was looking for as well. Fourth racks for me, you shouldn't have. Enemy density in my normal pad, normal path, it's less likely than you'd think.
Maybe while I'm grabbing those. Which do I have right now? At 405, I'm almost at enough to max out Wellspring, which would be sweet. fine but it is a downgrade yep unfortunately is this is where you put all the Xmas just all the Xmas are hiding here all right That's a crest and two veins, right? Yeah, that's good enough for me. We can do another one. <laughs> that that that's the guaranteed higher quality one, so that's okay. Just be running a twenty five percent chance on the rest to be the last vein I need, so no reason to no reason to stick around. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we definitely have enough to max out Wellspring, which sounds great. Crossplay fuck spawn rates for PC players because consoles can't keep up. Well, to be clear. The PS5 and uh, the um, Xbone X, Sex, whatever it's called, um, those can keep up. It's the older consoles and the Switch, the Switch mostly, that have the real troubles. Yeah, Switch spawn rates. Oh god, how horrifying. Yeah, there we go. Maxed out Wellspring. We love to see it. Mobile about to make Switch look great. As someone who's played the mobile version that's not even done yet, it runs so much better than the Switch, and it's not even close. I would play on my phone every single day of the week. Have come aboard without permission. Mow them down without a second thought. Yeah, phones are hilariously better than a switch. Love that energy regen. Lead me straight to the crest. That's what I want. There's a Melica. Shit, we might be going straight to the crest. Good lord. Fucking run a mile. I found the angel. Where are we going? This little ghost said, I'm going to show you some shit. Ghost said, you want to see a dead body?
What do you... Oh. I didn't even know this was a possible spawn rate for this. Fucking all right. Or a spawn rate. Spawn place. We take those. Best be ready. Trying to retreat into the void so it can heal. Follow it and stop. You can't hurt it while those dimensional orbs are out. Use your void body to absorb. Sure, you recommend for Degas. I mean, probably all strength to hit one of your thresholds is usually going to be the thing. Bunch of duration is also not bad. But like, it's really going to be just like red shards and then parkour to taste. the yellow shards are all basically to taste yeah true it is nice just be like and these shards if you want they're good we don't get that very often in warframe just in general which i think speaks to like how successful the yellow shards have been actually because like i pretty much like th there's a few warframes where i will forego um yellow shards if they have any kind of like movement that they want to be doing like even calerable i have one in on my main account of course um, and he can teleport, right? It's just so convenient, though. gonna get any uh there's Melica station though no. love it when this setup is here key up top Melic on the bottom just convenient I, don't think your academic achievements I forget do, is it rank four that you need the quills for it crests are rank three quills are rank four right I think that's correct and then like pinions you never need? Or is it you need one pinion and some quills for the last rank? Hmm. I do not remember. God damn it. I'm scanning these out of fucking spite just so they never lead me to them again. <laughs> There's only three pinions. Is it three pinions? Down, vein, crest, quill, pinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the tiers. I'm talking about like the requirements for ranking up. Like, does it just like does it just adhere to that? Cause I don't remember. doing that doesn't do anything.
bunch of drones. <clears throat> Clean. It's up there. We gotta kill the drags. Come on back. Drags gotta come down here. In the rules. Yeah, I'm at my focus cap. Well, the PC had way better spawn rates. Is that a lie? Well, it does than, like, PS4s and, uh, um, X-Bones. And definitely when compared to, like, Switch. But if you're on a PS5, it's, like, pretty much the same. The, the, like, the PS5 and, the uh, like, the Series X, they don't have any trouble <clears throat> handling Warframe. It's not a big deal. Like those those are pretty good versions of this game. Like that's not really it's not really like super discernibly different. It's five pinions, uh, for rank five, okay. Even if there is a difference in spawn rates between current gen and PC, it's negligible. Yeah. Yeah, for, for current gens, it's like you're not going to notice any any real difference. The 15 quills for rank 3. Or for rank 4, okay. <clears throat> Hopefully this leads me to the crest. the way in. It's a down. Damn. I ran my face directly into this before. Oh. Man, that really does just look like a damn wall. They mention the Narwa fight? The what? what? The hell are we talking about? I don't know what the fuck that is. What's a Narwa? Did the XPS5 have the same spawn rate as PC then? I mean, if it's different, it's not noticeable. Searched over here already.
I just want to get the crap. I got the one vein that I needed. Uh, I really want to find uh, the grass. It's another down. Must have missed it unless it's in here. Is there anywhere obvious like I did not look? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think I checked the hall that's over here. Did I? Oh, that was where the Soma Cord was, right? Anywhere obvious I didn't check. I'm just going to call this one a wash on the crest. Make sure. Will you please remember that your presence? We should be doing more. To okay, I have all the veins that I need for this. Then. Clear skies and so let's go max out our rep for the day with Yanta. We'll have we'll have plenty of pinions, I'm sure. Oh, the universe is Press my cap for today. Place. Remaining cap is an even 15k, so perfect. Yeah, we'll just throw these in there. Opinions being the easiest to farm. Okay, there we go. Yeah, then tomorrow I'll be ranked up. Shine that light of yours. All right, yeah, then tomorrow this will be ready to be upgraded and such. So I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to really need to do. The big thing is just like the initial farm and then I can just do like the exterminate pinion farm and get like a bajillion and get all the things that I need. It's got to get the initial little specific ones. Uh Oh yeah. The helm and the shard segment. Let's start that building. That'll be done... Well, basically two days from now, I guess. At this point. That's all done. Is there anything else I need? 
to think about or build. Hmm. Should really probably throw the Boltor together, huh? I'll level that at some point. Might as well build it. Uh, oh yeah, I can build the dread. Probably actually not something I should build until I would have like the incarnate for it. Yeah, I forgot that the Furious is weirdly expensive. Sorry. At least it earns itself now with the incarnate. Play with the volume off. Uh oh, I have this. This needs argon, so I might as well throw the stuff into this that this needs. Kraken, kind of the same. Just kind of a slot I can use to level stuff if I want mastery. What random shit have I accrued that I can just put together? <laughs> That's really where I'm at with this. Um, Volgar, kind of the same. This is all relatively cheap. I can just put this together as well. There we go. Just have a bunch of just a bunch of mastery building along with the helmet thing. Be the best two secondary incarnans. Uh, the Latum, if you count that, and then probably the Lex, though there's a ton of really good ones. Current builds. Uh, currently, I'm leveling the Natterick, but uh, Calervo's on this. We got one one extra point hanging over here. Because uh, we're getting like the 49 from this because it's bumped up once and the Vitality is as well. Um, uh, oh, we have. We did get Molt Efficiency. So we, there's. Well, actually, wait, this doesn't work at all. <laughs> this doesn't even function on this frame. Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, we didn't get anything we can use here, actually. <laughs> so funny, actually. Wait, so this is a good arcane, but we got it, and we're the Warframe that absolutely under no circumstances can use it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Back to mag. Nah, I'm okay. Well, that arcane, yeah, it is actually like pretty decent. Uh, we're gonna get molt augmented here pretty soon, though. Uh, but yeah, and then in terms of the the azathine is what we're we're mainly using here. Did the solo archon hunt, which felt really good. And then we're gonna throw a uh, red shard into Calerbo hmm. once that's done building, just because more strong, more good, right? Also because we're running overextended and we're at like negative strength right now. So any strength that we add onto that is just generally pretty good. Uh, ooh, here's an important factor. Thing that I should do is switch this. Where's it at? Drifters camp. I've just realized something. Doing calls mission does not do calls weekly. So I probably should do that, huh? Narmer, take all. Call and brothers take all back. Call swear it. Hilariously, Good. I think this means I'll be synced up with my main account's call, so I'm just gonna do the same mission twice. This where Narmer make bails for brothers. Call say blow it up. Mm -mm. Better. We can rig these veils to overload and short out every other veil in range. Whole Narmer cells liberated at a stroke. Ready? Call came out too ready. Still say blow up better. Call, I'm impressed. How did you figure that out? Hmm. Point and click. Call good at this shit. Kills with grenades, freeze the guy, five kills, five seconds, that's all easy. Gene stamps is what I have to collect. And then of course break veils, which is fine. Call, try your new contraption. Twenty credits since it rips his head off. Call, got this. Ah! 
poor chipper. Go wait by ship. I still have a robber's dog. That thing on your wrist is a mucking trick, you weapon. Give me ten minutes with it, and you're less likely to declap someone's hand with it. Oh, you face! Oh, there he goes. He was a ghost the whole time. Oh yeah, five kills, five seconds is one of the easiest ones to do on this mission. I would actually say this is the only mission where it's not like kind of annoying to do. It's just like, oh yeah. And imagine if you got to keep the orbital strike on the other missions though. Ugh. I think they made it so that these guys can't spawn anything. I haven't seen them on anything, like, like have anything on them in, like, months, I think. Has anybody seen them have a thing? Is it just, like, a weird, like, like luck thing here? Because I still just keep checking them, and they just never is it. Has anybody seen those guys have anything? <laughs> they do? Okay. All right. This is really getting to the point where I was thinking about not shows up on the radar now. Yeah, yeah, but you still have to get kind of close. Or can you be below it to check now? If you can be below it to check, that'd be nice. I'll check one side on the way out. Fair. You can see from below it, the radar is at least 10 meters, I think. Okay. Yeah, I'll check with the radar then. I didn't realize it would even pop out. Because I, I just haven't seen any items be there in, in just ages. Oh, overshot it. That's how you get up there? Yeah, that's how I do it. Just one more. You're done. Time to go through, Carl. Sneak, sneak, sneak. <laughs> Smart. Oh, I hit the dodge roll. Come on. Give me a break. Uh, oh yeah, I need 10 kills with grenades. Probably could have grenaded that guy. Oh well. I'm still on zero gene stamps, which is concerning. Hey yo. had them just peace like that actually we go now 
Still no gene stamps. Are they all going to be in the back room? Almost never Inside. comes through there. Now what? The fun part. Find the production controls. But the gene stamps are an objective. Gotta collect five. And here's where the evil's made. Now the tricky part. Call, I need you to rekey the boot sequence. Do that, and I'll have a split second drain reboot to inject my sabotage instructions. Hurry! Ash up. Here we go. Call not understand. Just, is it just all the same? Show me the fourth symbol being okay. So at least it's one of them is different. I was like, what the hell? The fuck is this? Right? Well done, Carl. Now to make some. Did you pass them? I didn't see any. You have to think this is a raid. That way they won't suspect tinkering. Marking weapons locker. You're gonna need a gun. Call always want one Bro. of these. Where the hell are these things? Call, deacons are hunting you. But your tinkering just got me access to this facility's automatic. You son of a bitch fuck. The bugs back where they're unmarked. Anything, including deacons. Grab a target marker. Who's on your map? It's supposed to be marked. That's the whole thing. That so much. To dust now. Now that I fucking know that, that's so annoying. Okay, now we're going to do something extra, extra stupid. Also known as rechecking some bodies. Either of these, it seems, which means I'm missing one. Something big is coming your way. Call can handle. Ah, you done. He 
you did it. Okay. Fucking works for me. slightly too close. I will jump back in just for like the last gene stamp. That's not a big deal. How do handles chipper? Carl says you're a good sort. Like stimmers too. What bowl, but you don't kill as many people as he has without learning a little something about human nature. So, guns, bits and pieces. They've got an Archon shard or two lying around somewhere. I also do mods. Did all my own, actually. Stuff going in the deck when a fella's got a perfectly good workshop and a handsaw lying around. Neighbours did not like the screaming. Not one bit, let me tell you. Tell you how I got my head off sometime. There's a story. Anyway, what can I get you for? God, he really is just Korg, huh? In like a good way. I can only give you what I got in stock. My stock levels depend on how well old Carl and his imaginary girlfriend do on his little outings. Good week, lots of stock. Lots of stock, you're more likely to get what you need. God, I forgot the Steinex's build requirements are so fucked. They're so fucked. I don't do special orders, princess. What you see is what you get. Like his build requirements are fucked, and then for some reason he takes 12 Oroken cells. Like, bro, are you sure? Why? Why? Right? <laughs> like, it's, it's, his farm is, like, not that bad, but it's like, Jesus, are you sure? You having a go? Pick something. I, I forgot the Egret is fucking MR11. 270 stock for one of him. Yeah, well, you'll have an additional 270 or so stock just from doing the stuff before you can even get the Archon shard, so it's not a huge deal. Yep. Ranked up the encampment. Solaris. That him there. Call fine stuff. Chipper hands stuff out. Chipper tough like Grenier, but not as smart. Chipper oh yeah, Caliban's way worse arms, than Steinex farm. Legs. Think he's worth and it. Oh yeah, Steinex is fantastic. Over there, Agree. Good place for Chipper. Have unlocked armor. Uh, Alright, let's run in here real quick place. and just grab the gene stamp that we need. Quiet. Does Diriga proc Archon stretch? He's not supposed to, but he might. This where Narmer make bales for brothers. Call say blow it up. Mm -mm. Better. We can rig these bales to overload and short out. He does proc it. Yeah, he's not supposed to. Whole Narmer cells liberated at a stroke. Ready? Call came out too ready. Still say blow up better. Call, I'm impressed. How did you figure that out? Mm. Point and click. Double check. Please, 
please? Okay. Every other fucking ledge I can just fucking wave dash up. But this one? No. Fuck you. Yoink. Okay, there we go. We're good. Goodbye. Mission failed. Here's your stock, though. Interesting. You're, now, not the number I expected to see, but okay. You're a bloke inside doing. Take what you need. Yeah, you got the one fifteen. Cool. You perfect. You don't like what I got. Yeah. She's in last week, but still you have to wait 12 weeks to get Hildren. I mean, does that really matter? Like, waiting, like, ex like whatever amount of time in order to get a thing from Circuit? Like, it feels relatively, like, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, it being, like, a, a really nice alternative way to get things, is I think, is just, like, good. I mean, if you want her for Helminth? Yeah, but I mean, like, what's... Like, what's so bad about waiting, She's right? Up a distress signal. Wait, no. It's just the corpus peddling their wares again. Shut off the emergency frequency. You don't have a link for sabotage for call. Sneaky sabotage? The mission I just did? Just comparing it to Steinax. Oh, sure. Yeah, for all challenges. Well, the challenges the challenges change every single time that mission comes back as the weekly. Yeah, I would. I'm gonna say. Go. I'm gonna go ahead and say. We have made. Incredible progress today. Uh, <laughs> I mean, considering we completed New War, Veilbreaker, and Angels of the Zaramon, and also we did our first Archon Hunt, and we did like the solo run, seems um, seems pretty good. Seems like we seems like we got quite a lot done there, actually. <laughs> yeah, and farmed quite a bit of Zaramon as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean. It's good. Just, just outrageous amounts. Any plans for streams between now and Whispers? Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Probably tomorrow, at least, I'm just going to like... Well, no, tomorrow is... Tomorrow's reset, so I'll probably edit videos earlier in the day and then do weeklies. On stream, probably. Yeah, for, for tomorrow... Uh, I might actually put off, like, editing and stuff until Monday, depending on if Sarah wants to do some stuff uh, before weeklies hit. But, yeah. Regardless. Honestly, for the free to play through, we're kind of at, like, exactly where I wanted to be in terms of progression. Like, to be ready for Whispers. Like based on everything we know about whispers, uh, I'm I'm pretty much uh, done and dusted there, with the possible exception of like wanting to level the void rig, maybe I guess, and get some stuff for it. Um, I'm working on, of course, getting like the Nataruk leveled and all of that good business. Which, speaking of, slap that in there. 
Oh, did I, did, I, did I get the other crit mod? I did not. Okay. Slap that in there. Slap that in there. Um, actually, this thing crits so well anyway. I'm just going to throw Vital Sense in first. <laughs> uh, no, it should be these two. It should be these two first. It should be these two first. I'll throw Hunter in later. I mean, this is already quite strong, though. It's a Brosaria co-stream. I'll be there, be there. Hell yeah. All that can be done in real jack and moments. True. How many hours on profile stats? Curious to see how long it took overall to finish New War. Sure. Yeah, this is like with all primary quests uh, done. We are at 42 hours. I think it's quite good. We made insane progress. And consider we detoured for Duviri for like quite a bit of time to grab Colervo, but also with that, grabbing Colervo allowed us to do a whole lot of shit really easy. Uh, because he's just so good, especially when you get him and the Azo thing together. That's about 42 hours if you know absolutely exactly what you're doing to get to a point where you can kind of just, like, branch out and do what content you want. And that's, uh, man, that's low MR cuts from quests is going to be so good. It really is. But yeah, also, yeah, we spent two full hours on Wise Razor, so that's also a consideration. <laughs> But of course, like, I mean, a lot of, like, those mod farms and stuff are going to take up a whole lot of time. Like, you're going to spend, like, a lot of hours being, like, if you wanted to, like, you know, mod out the Necromech, like, some somewhat significantly, let's say. Like, that's going to be quite a few hours that you can spend on that. Um, like, farming the Endo doesn't actually take that long because Railjack, of course. But, like, you know. Oh, you know what? Before I, for before I forget, let's do one last thing here. I got to go to the dry dock and actually um, put those parts I built in because I didn't I didn't put them in for new war because I wanted to show base survivability. Um, but now that that shit's over, I can just slap that in there. Yeah, obviously, arbit yeah, arbitrations. Getting to arbitrations is just gonna take a while. Just gotta do every mission in the game. Oh yeah, just just going from a casual fifteen hundred hull um, up to eighty four hundred hull. Just just going from nine hundred and forty two armor to three thousand. Just you know, just like normal, just normal things normally. This a solid increase in speed. Uh, also, just the the best reactor in the game. Just, just just pump that up real quick and just an insanely better shield uh, and then on the side guns here we can just grab our Levon Fotors which while not perfect as side guns are uh, 1 million percent better than what we were going with before yeah, I, th I think that'll do full, full Mark 3 ship except for the Tycho Seekers but who the fuck uses those anyway really and honestly, in terms of like what we've got in the Plexus, we're doing pretty good. Like we got Hyper Strike, Predator, Section Density, so we have our damage and then of course our critical stuff. Um, and then like, you know, Revo Reducer and Artillery Cheap Shot are more, you know, quality of life. But then just some speed, Ion Ion Burn and Conic Nozzle, just making us faster. Do you have the optimal railjack parts on the website? Uh I think it's part of one of the pages I'm working on. How's Intrinsic's looking? Intrinsic's pretty good. We have 29 right now, so we're not, not quite enough to bump any of these. But yeah, we're fives everywhere, and then we bump Tactical up to seven just so we could actually go to the Void whenever we want. Um, and the, the roughest bit is mods, mostly because obviously these just take a long time to level uh, for, like, you know, Blackout Pulse and, well, eventually getting um, Seeker Volley. What does Seeker Volley drop from again? Because that's, of the stuff that I would consider to be, like, the meta loadout for abilities, I have Blackout Pulse and Shatter Burst, but Seeker Volley is the other one. The Veil, you mean? Yeah, yes. My bad. Yeah, I forget exactly where Seeker Volley drops. But Void Hole's not exactly bad, I'm just not willing to level it. And then these things just don't even matter. I don't even have a one for this. 
Yeah, so, like, Railjack is, like, pretty much done, really. Like, realistically, what we what we would be looking for at this point are only real barriers um, to being able to do, like, the Railjack farm is I would actually probably want to get Styanax. Um, I would want to grab Styanax and... Uh, uh, get him built because then he's an amazing pilot that is also just generally good um and he's he's good at, he's good at like different things in Kalirva, which is really nice and then that's pretty much what's up like yeah seeker volley and and uh getting Steinax is pretty much like what I would want to grab in order to uh get that going Granted, for Steinex, you'd, like, want to grab his Augment. Bill Caches, I don't fucking know what's that. Worm Weavers, Exo Cutters, okay. Well, this is the boss pilot. Eh, he's okay at it. What point do you consider the free-to-play through as done? Well, so, the free-to-play through is going to be in, like, kind of a weird uh, spot. Because it's going to do a bunch of different things. Um... In that, like, I want to take this and then do, like, a bunch of, like, the side quests. Like, the actual just, like, side quests, like, Titania's quest. And do that, like, in you know, go through and write the guides for those things as well. Um, that's other stuff that I want to do. But, like, at this point, uh, once I get all, like, the videos and stuff edited of, like, the different quest playthroughs and all that stuff coming out of this. And then, of course, get, like, the, like, how to farm Colerbo, uh and the Azathane guide video done and stuff like that. Then the free-to-play is going to be pretty much what's up. Uh, I'm probably going to do, um, at least on Locksteel Path. I don't think I'm going to just, like, go through and do all the nodes or whatever. Um, but I think I probably want to get, like, at least one of the Incarnans. I think the one I'll probably go for is, like, the Atomos Incarnan or something. Because I have the Atomos built already. But there's, like, a bunch of different ones. Like, I grabbed the, the Furious Incarnate or whatever. But that one's got a more particular build than the Atomos and such. But anyway, like, I probably want to grab, like, at least one Incarnate um, at some point or another. But, like, a lot of that stuff is going to be, like, I'm not really, I'm not sure I want to go and do that. Because, like, the realness for Steel Path Circuit is, like, we'll just get the good build, right? Which is like we'll just build a bunch of warframes good and then whenever they show up then then go do it right um so it's kind of self-explanatory on like what you need to do in order to have more chances to do more steel path circuit but i don't know that i'll do that uh i definitely want to at least like you know do some steel path stuff and be like and this is what this build accomplishes here and so on and so forth Yeah, I think we showed pretty objectively that, like, Colervo is, like, a, a fantastic Warframe for people to grab and just be able to do stuff, though. The Secret Valley is also 4 plat on the market right now, so there is that. Yeah, it's not super hard to get. I just don't have it. It's just one of the... Th yeah, like, uh, keep in mind, I haven't actually played that much Railjack on this account, right? You need to do the interceptions, Poka, so much nicer with more than one person. Well, sure. Clear was busted. I don't think that Clear was busted. He's just really good with low, like, low modding. Which, like, a number of Warframes are that. Like, Steinax is the same way. But Steinax, you get considerably later in progression, whereas Calerbo comes from Duviri, which is a kind of different progression, but it's available really early. Because, like, in terms of, like, doing Steel Path and stuff, like, I would also, of course, just have the the other option. Because, like, Kalervo's very, like, versatile and, like, what he applies to is really going to be, like, the big thing. Because, obviously, I could just do what I did last time, which was, oh, I'm going to go get Zephyr for just general mission running because she is incredible for that. And then, other than that, grab, like, Revenant or Neja and slap Roar on them through the helmet system and be like, okay, cool, you're a fuck-busted, like, boss fighter. Kalervo... Not as good of a boss fighter, and about similar, at least, in terms of, like, mission clear. I would say Zephyr is probably on on rate a little better than him for it. 
at least on low modding uh like no forma and and such like that but like he gets both done like very handily a secret belly drops on r9 and h2 is it just in the drop tables <laughs> bullshit i'm just unlucky then that's like all we did <laughs> Or I'm too lucky. We got like thousands of endo doing that shit. It's like a 4% drop for an optional objective. Oh, that's kind of whatever then. Yeah, regardless very happy with where the the free to play through is at uh it being like kind of bare minimum uh of like where you'd basically be at if you were like kind of looking at whispers basically like obviously short of the killing the archon and so on and so forth uh but in terms of like what we have together i don't think that whispers is going to really threaten us you know what i mean The really nice thing is that I think the Vectus proved itself to be very useful once again. It's just generically like a pretty good gun to have around before you get to like the Nataruk and stuff. And obviously we're leveling the Nataruk now and all that. <clears throat> so I think one of the other things I want to do is going to mainly be I want to do uh, a Terralist with the Sirico. Um, and the Void Rig. So I, th I think that's going to be like a next primary goal is like, hey, this is accessible and you can get in there and like, this is how you like, if you want to defeat a terrorist, like, here's what you can use in order to do that, right? Any other frames you want to get for variety slash options? Uh, I think that like, I mean, there are some like certain warframes that like they provide a particular use uh, that is really, really useful. So for example... Uh, you know, like, mass AoE clear as you're, like, you know, like, you're fast running through maps, like, to get, like, you know, to speed run through and just, like, kill everybody. Grabbing Goss, just, like, you know, grabbing Goss, he has Thermal Sunder, he is Thermal Sunder, right? Um, just getting him for the purposes of Thermal Sundering whenever, like, I just want to, like, kill everything in a, a mission and just farm it through. Probably really useful and good to get. Obviously, it's no Titania with Thermal Sunder. But, of course, it leads towards doing that. Uh, and then, otherwise, probably grabbing, like, Revenant Prime, probably. Uh, just to have a Warframe that is, like, just truly immune and can just not care. Those are probably, like, the two directions you would, like, want to go. Otherwise, uh, like, you know, Zephyr or Octavia, both really good choices. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like, there's, like, a ton of, like, just good options to go and get. Probably wouldn't want to go for any of, like, the significantly high investment Warframes. Um, because the super high investment Warframes, we're talking about, like, Saren. We're talking about Mesa. Like, Warframes that, like, generally you really want to have, like, a huge amount of investment in them. And then they are just, like, showstoppers. Uh, that's still, like, you know... You want to build up on, like, the Warframes that can get away with a lot less before you start getting into that stuff. Is the Glaive still any good? Yeah, it's the best melee weapon in the game. Glaive Prime, specifically. Titania. Yeah, so for Titania, I would actually say the thing about Titania is you probably want Titania Prime. Treen's a little bit of a grind, but she's pretty awesome. Yeah, so Treen is very low investment. She was actually one of the Warframes I was considering um, as, like, the main thing for the free to play through. Uh, she's really good because her survivability is just absolutely insane. She has built-in healing, of course. Uh, she also gets that really good damage buff and also stun. Problem being, there's certain things that like that stun just doesn't work on, so you end up uh, at like a disadvantage there. But you know, that's only for stuff that we're talking about, like you know the archons and like certain specific things. <clears throat> How do you feel, Citrine, with Terrify over her four and using her as a priming gun buff platform? I wouldn't bother with that. Like. If you're if you're looking for like something to make your condition overload effect go 
prefer just just bring one of the dogs like just bring well, the, the the mecha dog that's like the whole thing that it does is spread a ton of status you don't you don't need to use a warframe for that Yeah, Octavia does have a prime. <clears throat> you know how well the lava frame is? Currently got the final parts for being built. He's okay. He's playable. He's not very high, like, mod investment, which is nice. Um, But you're not going to get a ton out of him in terms of performance. Did you beat New War? Yes. Yeah, we did New War, Veilbreaker, and also... Uh, Angels of the Zarmon, and we also farmed up uh, the first couple ranks of Angels of the Zarmon as well, which is quite nice. I purchased the Glaive Primer, cope that it gets unvaulted. Just wait until it gets unvaulted. You don't need it. Did you enjoy the quest? Yeah, it's great. That's why. That's why I'm doing. I mean, like, wow. Hmm. The mysterious question. Oh, for, for, I guess for context, for anyone that does not know, uh, this is the free to play through. Uh, I am writing a like major critical progression route for new players. It's like this account's purpose is to like get like recordings and just like do the new progression throughout the game and like be able to write guides for, for new players and stuff. Just so everyone is aware, if anyone is new to the stream, welcome on in. But that is, that is, that is what this account is for is uh, writing new guides and making YouTube videos and such so it can help new players get through the game. New player Sevagoth is probably totally fine. Uh, I feel like new player Sevagoth would be a little rough. Because, like, you're just not going to have, like, the damage you'd want at all. And, like, he's very, very squishy, even even with full investment. Add Conclave to the route? No. Why would I add nothing to the route? Uh, any of the other glaives are worth it at all while waiting for glaive prime or just stick with Zorus? Yeah, just stick with Zorus. Zorus is just incredible. Look, like there's very little payoff for all the forma investment required to make Sevagoth actually get work done at higher level content. Yeah, I would tend to agree. Like, he's fun. But, like, in terms of what he can actually get done, not fantastic. He's fine at stuff. And one of his big downsides is like once you get him into Steel Path, for example, um, part of his loop tends to be that he dies and then he'll just get right back up. But if he dies while you're fighting an Acolyte, they'll just leave. And it really sucks. Are you going to build another frame to use for this free-to-play? Um, maybe? I mean, I think it's pretty compelling just to be able to like go and build one Warframe. And have it just be like it works because like any any other frame right like if i wanted to show like another warframe that would be similar to this and like have like a you know very beginner friendly build for them which i am planning on having more more videos like that um i would just like use those mods on my main account and then like not go and farm it on this account because like i already own all the stuff right My brain still can't comprehend the fact that Kalir was a beginner frame. Yeah, I'm hey, he's a beginner frame as long as you know what you're doing, right? And he's not too terrible to go get. He's actually like quite easy. Like it's definitely some time investment. He's definitely no like, oh, it's Rhino. Just go pick him up, Lamau. Um, but it's also not, you know, it's not like the Octavia grind. It's 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 also like very guaranteed. Like getting getting Calervo is you have spent X amount of time getting Calervo. You have Calervo, right? Like there's basically no randomness of like involved at all. It just is what it is. Like, did you do this many runs and fight Calervo? You have him. Now go get the plants that always spawn. It's like, I mean, okay. Like, it's super easy. I'm gonna pick up Sevagoth and Epitaph next week in the events. Uh, I mean, I guess there's probably no reason for me to not do those alerts. 
Um, it would let this account, like, easily have a Sevagoth to build to throw into the Helminth, which would honestly not be bad. <laughs> of course you have, Calervo Idiot. It came free with your doing Duviri at all. Yeah, really. <laughs> which is fantastic. I love that for Calervo, right? Like, he's a, he's a super good, unique Warframe that has, like, really, like, not super intense build requirements. Um, his own, like, you know... It's a different play style. It applies to a lot of things. He's just great. Is an early game Warframe player? There's no bad option. Yeah, no, definitely. Gloomy Calervo build when? Uh, Calervo just doesn't need it. That, that's really the thing with Calervo is like, with Calervo, his kit is just designed really, really well. So it's like, could I remove something on this kit? Yeah, I guess. I could probably include an armor strip. Uh, for the purposes of fighting enemies that are, like, status immune and have armor. Which the list there is very limited. Uh, so I guess that's a possibility. I could add Roar, which mostly is in the vein of you put Roar over his 3 and then your 4 can, like, you know, deal good passive damage that is, like, good enough for, like, a lot of Steel Path, honestly. Like, that's, a, like, an avenue that you can take Kalerbo down um, and makes his slash procs, like, crazy stupid strong. You can definitely do that too. Like you can you can add stuff to Calervo, but you always lose something when you do that. Which I think which I think just really goes to show like how good Calervo is overall. Is that if you decide to to go another direction, you will always lose something. Which I think is an important note. There will maybe the best synergized kit since probably. Yep, can't think of one. Yeah. yeah. He really did come like he he launched and it was like, oh, overguard problems. E ooh, overguard a little stinky. And then it was like, hey, what if this wave of fixes for this? Is this good? And it was like, yes. Yes, it is good. You did it. Congratulations. Overguard's great. What a what a fantastic thing that we're now using on multiple warframes and is a much appreciated mechanic. Like we really Really just, like, ran it up to be like, and it's great, isn't it? and it's fantastic now. Perfect. <laughs> I'm getting to the point in Warframe where I feel like all I'm doing is leveling weapons for hours and I'm getting drained. What should I do? Uh, I would suggest Remnant 2. It's a very, very good video game. But, yeah, the only, like, the thing for that is you should take a break. Like, li literally, we have a new update coming out in, well, now it's the 10th, so I guess three days, but basically four. Just, do just don't even bother playing Warframe for, like, the next three days. Like, just do something else. Like, hang out. There will be brand new content. Do some other stuff. Like, it, like don't, don't just, like, go and level weapons to increase your MR unless it's what you want to do. Like, playing something else is really, like, the answer. If, if you're getting out... If you're getting on Warframe and doing stuff and not having fun, you're just burning yourself out. Just do something else. And, like, especially right now, there's there's no reason, like, what are you pushing yourself through content for? There's nothing limited time. It's all just going to be here when you get back. <clears throat> like, whenever we get Gargoyles Cry, and it's like, oh, if it, it like, this is theoretical... We don't have any real details about what the rewards are going to be. But if we get Gargoyles Cry and it's like the arcane farming event where you have like all of like the Eidolon arcanes and they're like you do a bunch of Gargoyles Cry and then you can get the Eidolon arcanes. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe you want to like push yourself into that content a little bit so you can come out of that content with a full set of Energize, which would be huge, right? Sure, there's like reason to do that because it's not going to be there. But if for anything that's like, oh, I'm farming Goss and I'm tired of it. Well, then don't do it. Like, just don't do not do that thing. You can do it later. Whenever you want to do it. Yeah, the Conclave Potato is... Yeah, I mean, you can tab out and watch YouTube while the match timer runs down and you run at the enemies and make the match end faster. If you're really, really wanting to do that. Is Estrada good? It's okay. It's fine. Really, like, the top dog, con like, uh, 
glaives are going to be glaive prime followed directly by the Zorus. then the rest of it is like mostly usable true thank you i think i'm gonna step outside to experience the sun hell yeah they yeah, really like the, the big thing is like warframe as a game generally speaking doesn't have anything that's like so limited that it's like you know i've got to get this done or i'm gonna fall behind it's like no especially if you're here if you're in like either of these chats talking to you youtube and twitch here if you are invested enough in this game that you are watching this stream I'm here to tell you you are almost certainly especially if you have like followed the free to play through up to where it is like where the free to play through is in terms of what it can accomplish and it's just general power way above normal players way above what normal players are going to accomplish like i want to be super clear like i I've, I've seen plenty of normal players just matching into public on this account like uh i was just farming some like stuff in mod like waiting for vor to show up and like i'm looking at mr like 20 25 players and like i'm resing them on mot regular path like th those people are normal players like you are going to be far beyond the curve like you're not trying to really play catch up with anyone if you're like if you have like really basically any of like the good warframe like full builds like if you have like what actual maxed out calervo looks like in my builds video that is the one percenter type shit build like fucking nobody has that realistically so like you're you're not you're not you're not trying to get ahead of anybody like there's no one there's no one really to get ahead of now is the moment half the chat realizes they're not normal players with their 500 plus hours it's not even about the hour count though because like normal players will have like 500 1000 hours like they'll have played a ton but they're just like playing right like they're still using like basic ass shit like that they saw like they're using the 2015 Excalibur build that they got from Mogamu and they're just having fun killing guys and it, it like they're just doing stuff and that's fine and that's what like a lot of players do there's nothing wrong with that. Your favorite way to get Kuva? Uh, I gotta be honest, I don't really try and get Kuva. I don't do Riven stuff pretty much at all. I don't really, I don't mind the siphons though, honestly. Okay, plus hours till Xbox died. Hey, you're about to get your stuff back, though. <laughs> about to have cross save. One of numerous folks of your previous free to play through, so I'm tickled to see this new one. Hell yeah. Uh, also, hey, thank, I just wanted, before we end stream here, I do want to thank everybody um, for, like, you know, if you're you know, giving the progress, the critical progression route, because uh, this released today, well, yesterday at this point. Um, this released, this is out, this is on brosime.com, available for everyone. It goes all the way up, like, to the War Within and then the Moat Amp. Obviously, this will be expanded as quickly as I really can as I get videos edited um, and, like, finalize different things on here. And more optionals are also going to be added up in here at, you know, certain points. But um, I'm really happy with where the first release of the CPR is. So much appreciated for any of you that suggest this to your new player friends or for people that you're introducing to the game. Uh, it's just, like, a good general guide for people to uh, to go through with, like, you know, crafting the Vectus and getting getting Rhino and all of that good business it is much appreciated um for pushing new players there and hopefully that helps them through the game pretty easily but yeah insane progress today i think we did good uh and that's gonna that's gonna do it for stream today i will see you guys tomorrow for weeklies at the very least um at the for weeklies at the very least we're gonna be doing that tomorrow i think uh otherwise uh me and sarah might play stuff or otherwise i will probably just be editing more videos and stuff so we'll see what's up uh and i will see you guys tomorrow goodbye